everybody welcome cool. to our live stream we have well, good luck to you man yeah Galaxy man you too and well done on Morgan. getting to the top eight uh oh, i yeah. think uh, black order a good effort for both of us um oh, taking yeah. the, the underrepresented minnows Sploosh, i know i like being the underdog yeah yeah um right so i'm going to the surprise we're no doing one. pretty good Pass. i'm doing great thanks for letting me do this with you all right, so I'm going to mute up, but you guys are going to take the lead here. So uh, good luck to all the players. Good luck to the commentary. We're going to have a lot of fun here, and we'll see you after the game. Well, I'll see you after the game. <laughs> so, uh, Sooner, do you want to start with the Guardians, since you're their like, current representative? I will. I will. So he's running a, a five. We're playing 15 points. We're playing uh, Wakandan Herbs and Portals, Spider Portals. Uh, he is running Ronin with Drax, Screw, Rocket, and Star Lord. He's running Deadly Duo decisions, decisions. Uh, with will. Blind Obsession, Brace for Impact, Field Dressing, and All You've Got. So he's really going in for the damage. At 15, they're playing 15 threat, huh? Yeah. Isn't it so crazy to see three versus five at 15? Well, and especially on a wide uh, uh, D scenario, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting matchup. Oh my gosh, you're right. Look at that. But it's herbs, so it's almost like they're only playing one objective. Yeah, that, that tremendously helps uh, Morgan's team, definitely. All right. Um, yeah, Morgan playing Thanos, Corvus, Proxima. Not shocking. Um, basically just replaced drop-off for Mothership, which is the new thing to do. All right, I'll actually yep. agree then. Um, I think I like this guest. I, I'm really interested to see how he plays like the D scenario because it certainly should put there. a lot of this pressure on him. This is my first him. time against Black Order. And he yeah. even he even has them split up right now. Well, actually, with this Mothership, it doesn't really matter. Get to play against Black Order. And if you look, he did. Uh, he added Guardians almost like one once. So maybe? That's going to just be able once. to guarantee yeah, a Mothership no, no, when he no Oh, sorry, but I played two practice games. Yeah, I mean, he could do double move. Just mothership move. turn one, right? Yeah. All right, I will move. If he needed, I, I think this is by far the best D scenario for him because he could just flip a portal and then go kill. Yeah. Oh yeah, I I thought for a second I thought this was the sixteen point one. This one you can actually hold it like a meteor. Loves it. Yep. He loves it. Group comes. Yeah, through. you're right. This game yeah, so he'll. Than I yeah, so he'll yeah. probably have. <laughs> so so yeah okay uh, so if he has. Proxima and go right and Corvus go left move. and spend a power. Because of R and D, he can still mothership the next turn. Mm -hmm. I think that's his plan, and then just start killing guardians. And you know, Thanos will probably flip that back one and then just start moseying straight down the middle. I don't know about your move best dragons. I don't know if you can reach Rocket in my back line and kill him on turn one or not. Oh, so he did pass the flip on this on his home. <laughs> well, if you put Groot um, there, I definitely can't. I'll take it. Much. <laughs> okay, there's the dice. So, huh? <laughs> Poor Groot with his two dice, but he didn't. Less chance to roll it. a skull. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Well, now a skull on. Oh, no, because he gets to place him. I was going to say that the Thanos one, sometimes it's good for someone like Groot because you can get an extra push. <laughs> Yeah. Because well, you have to push away. So if you put them on the correct side of the portal, then they, they got to push Right, them, right. You know? Yeah, that's he's true. Move. He wants to stay. He was measuring for like, well, let's see what tactics cards he's playing. Yeah, he's playing Deadly Duo. I figured he was because he was measuring one for some reason on Rocket. He must be thinking 
uh, Morgan's will play super aggressively and then now changed his mind. I'll call that group. Yeah, I, I don't know cool. about Deadly we'll Duo again. in this it. game because he only has three three characters. It's got to be some advantage of having only three characters, right? <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to this, go first. This is certainly going to gonna be interesting. Not... Um, Wait on. It's it, it's like you said. It's That's such an advantage for Black Order to get their home and then basically leave it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. I Guardians this. doesn't really have, at least at the moment, he's not playing anyone quick. He's not. Th he didn't throw in like a Black Widow. No, Star Wars I, decent at, at double moving to get stuff. He passed, he's right? about there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I'd like to get someone just to like so. pressure uh, Morgan's home Drax. just to like keep him honest. Jax is gonna get one with one I way agree. Of portal. Yeah. And I think Star Lord can do that if he he can get placement right. Fair the enough. problem is is Morgan's gonna be moving his characters uh, twice every every Thanos activation, so he can move anybody that gets close and just move them away. Mothership doesn't let you carry objectives, right? No, it does not. Yeah, so you can't steal the herb, which is like super there to be taken. Yeah, but and that's why he plays like you know why that's why he plays herbs. I think a lot is because it just enables his game plan perfectly. Ooh, oh, nice it. roll for Drax. All right, he strolls the three hitter. Here it goes. My body's ready. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Do you think we need to review Are anything? Like uh, any thoughts so, on the tactics so cards that surprised is you? This pretty much the season you've ran it, or have you ran them? I don't think so. I mean, I I don't know about Deadly Duo like a, in a DC uh, when they were first but, released. Uh, and didn't have a lot of success. It looks like he's going to put Rocket and, uh, and Root kind of in the middle of the table, yeah, and that will off. enable the Deadly Duo. I thought they were good. I just wasn't sure how good, and so so I wanted to run them. One weakness of Corvus Proxima is they have no ability to move enemy characters. So right. if you do no, just I've kind of throw they're, Rocket they're next to Groot, like, you're mistake, basically just really saying lose. you're going to have to kill Groot, um, which maybe is in his favor. Um, and then if Rocket gets enough power, he can maybe even field dressing Groot. And then Groot could like, like heal that. himself. And just, the there's one, some things there. Um, he's got tools. Yeah, he's got tools. Drax is good in the, is actually good in the Corvus and the Proxima. Um, I've played that matchup multiple times, and he's actually very good into them. Um, but it, I think it's going to come down to how well Morgan plays his Thanos, and knowing Morgan, he's going to play him flawlessly. So. Oh my gosh, yeah, Morgan's such a great player. I just want to say, you know, once I heard Pat and you lost, I was like, well, it looks like it's Morgan's turn. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I think he's going to be a tough one to knock out, that's for sure. Yeah, I commend him a lot for not giving up on... Um, Black Order. I think originally a lot of people were down on him. I've even heard Morgan say he was kind of down on them. And I don't know if something clicked or he figured out some secret tech that maybe he'll show us today. But all of a sudden he's just winning every game. Yep. Uh, uh, so he's going he's gonna to move Drax off the point. And then probably go take it. Yep. Um, it's interesting. I, I do like also Blind Obsession when there's only three characters on the other side of the board. Perfect. It's a perfect card on this scenario and against his team. Uh, it's absolutely perfect because uh, you can blind obsess Thanos and Thanos can lose that matchup. I, I got to say, watching you play with blind obsession has given me more respect for the card and it is the D that you use it best on. Uh, yeah. And then I think with the you know kind of nerf of having a restricted list, that card, its stock has gone way up. Yeah, definitely. It's it's. I I played it with my guardians. I played it every time I played a D scenario. I played it. Yeah, I've been trying it out too. It's it probably only forces, week. On... It ahead. forces your opponent into a, a really tough decision. Yeah, and, and it should be really cool to see how it gets played in this game. Right I now, agree. Drax versus Thanos could be a thing. You know? I was gonna say, I think Drax can win that battle. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and Thanos does have like the double relocate, but it's going to cost power and he can't really afford that right now. And then we're also probably speculating R&D being used. So, correct. So that should be interesting. But I mean, you give you give Drax maybe a little Star Lord support and you blind obsess Thanos and I think Guardians will win that matchup. You know, your previous opponent in your last round, he was talking about how he just never attacks Drax and 
he he committed hard on that plan and i thought it was really interesting it'll be i i'll be curious to see if morgan plays similarly my like guess morgan, you, hey, go ahead. yeah my guess is he's just gonna use thanos to move him move him move and him move him not shoot at him at all yeah just that takes huge discipline but I, I yeah i could see it it does especially when drax can counter by moving up doing an attack and throwing something now and drax can throw thanos correct yep oh man that's good hey he's called titan killer <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he can. That's why I like no matter the cost with Guardians because Drax loves a, a good Titan killer. There you go. So maybe, maybe no matter the cost, you take it instead of um, Deadly Duo in this situation. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I mean, Deadly Duo is one of those cards that if you can get a good Deadly Duo, it can swing a game. Yeah. I could definitely see a situation where Blackwater. All of a sudden, there's like three of them together because Corvus and Proxima tend to just be together anyway. Oh wow! Did he Wait. flipped it? But he, he yeah, he got it. How? Because Drax is just out, maybe. Yeah, yeah, he moved Drax just outside of one. Interesting decision. Why do you think I'm... he decided to not just get rid of him? I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why he didn't move him further back. Uh... Maybe he wants Drax to attack him next turn. Uh, that would be my only guess. Hmm. I mean, so we know based on the board state that probably Drax will have to move anyway, even though he's so close, because you don't want to give up the VP. Mm -hmm. But no, uh, maybe I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Because maybe I, I find it hard to believe anything in the Guardians will take down Corvus or even threaten him in any way right now. Yeah, I mean, Ron if you put Ronan in, like, you know, a rocket, two five-die shots, I mean, that can take down Corvus. Yeah. I, I really like Drax in the Corvus, though, because what I really like to do is let Corvus go in and, and kill Drax, then you go and field-dressing Drax, and then he, <laughs> he counter-dazes, usually, Corvus. Yeah. Because he'll at that point he can do uh, at one to two Titan killers, and he's rolling uh, the first one's eleven dice, the second one would be eight dice, and then he gets throws off of that. So it's pretty brutal. Hmm. What's going on here? Oh, you're just trying to get this it. Yeah, he's Morgan is that. running um, 300 ping, so he may appear a little derpy at times. It's not his fault. Uh, <laughs> I've always know. noticed Morgan's always running at high pings, man. Uh, he's in Australia, you know. Yeah, but they don't I think even for the there. Australians, he runs higher than they do. I'm gonna send him. I'm gonna send him like you know a, a FiOS internet cord or something. <laughs> Some kind of ocean, oceanic one or something. Yeah. Um, I know We're that the United, have... the United States has many fiber lines that go out through the ocean to Europe, but apparently not Australia. Yeah. All right. So Star Lord's moving up. Looks like he's going to take a shot into Thanos. And not do much. Yeah, it's unlikely this does damage. Yep. Nope. Nope. Not even close. The three blocks. That's really four blocks because Thanos doesn't work like most characters. Yep. So that wasn't even, I mean, it's not even close. No. And, and he's going to, and obviously we got a long ways to go, but he's going to have to get some, some lucky rolls, I think. Yeah. This. So one interesting thing, first of all, I got to say when the restricted list first came out, I was big on med pack. Um, I actually am changing my mind. I think, especially with Magneto coming out, I think Brace for Impact is just going to start being more and more popular. However, um, because all three of these Blackwater characters have a form of invulnerability, I think they can afford to play Med Pack. Yeah, I'd, if I was playing Blackwater, I would not play Brace. I mean, yeah, I, I think it's just a wasted card against with them. Yeah, you know. and when, when your characters have invulnerability, it makes your health actually just more valuable. You know what I'm trying to say? 
it, sure. it, it may say like five or six, but really it's like this artificial heightened amount, you know? Um, I mean, you could probably speculate Corvus has like eight health because you're usually not going to one shot them. So it'll take two tries. Um, so you could oh. artificially say that. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think invulnerability is is maybe, or, or really what the one Thanos has is the best probably defensive in the game, defensive yeah. abil ability in the game. I would say that's really lucky that he didn't roll the skull there. It would have been great for the Guardians if Corvus just had to go somewhere weird. Then again, with Mothership, it might not matter. Yeah, it would just force Morgan to maybe play that Mothership a little earlier than he wanted to. I think the trick sure. here, too, is Guardians need to keep the Black Order honest. If, if, if you allow Black Order to ball up and murder you, it's going to be a problem. Yeah, he, he has to turn this into a spread game where he is using his shots and his range or else, yeah, Corvus will. I mean, I, I've played this matchup about five times, and Corvus can literally just kill about two to three characters a turn if he goes off. Oh, absolutely. You almost need to keep your characters spread out and just let Corvus kill one, maybe two. But yep. Don't don't let him kill more than that. Maybe yeah, hopefully I, just one. I really liked when I played it, you know, I was playing the seven wide, and so I would just put uh, Drax and Valkyrie over there, and I would just, every single turn, I would not end the round without throwing Corvus away. That's true, yeah, because he's only size two, even though he's on that medium base. Yep. And I would just throw him away, and he'd either have to get lucky, well, not lucky, but hit a death blow, or he would have to use an action to move. So what do we have here? He's going all in on Thanos, looks like, man. He's he's going to try to get rid of Thanos first. Did Rocket uh, not activate, and or did he forget to put his token down? No, Rocket has not gone. He did a little pre-measuring, um, and... But he is definitely going all in on trying to kill Thanos. That's bold. Yeah, I guess he feels. I, I my think I, my guess would be that he's trying to trying to flip him so he doesn't get the one VP a day's character or a KO'd character. Uh, because I, he's yeah. probably thinking that could swing the game, which he's he's correct that could. Yeah, and it's a big reason how it's a bit it's a way Morgan wins is by denying people the extracts so that the VPs are more valuable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of funny actually, just like we were talking about how invulnerability adds value to hit points. Uh Morgan has found a way to add value to Thanos' leadership. Yeah, absolutely. No, I mean he's so he's just extremely cagey in this game, you know, the stuff he does, the the preparation he does is just phenomenal. Uh, for people that don't know, um, I know that Morgan's playing um, the herbs, and then he's playing the 17-point scroll and the 20-point meteor scroll-esque. Oh, no, I disconnected. I think everybody got disconnected. Right. So what Morgan will do is um, t the scroll-style strategies tend to slow the game down because you got to get lucky to even get the objective. Um and Herb obviously super slows the game down because it's extremely difficult. hard to uh, score the herb um i've actually never scored the herb before so we can hear me yeah uh, uh, I so either, what we're gonna do I, to real be honest, quick i've never tried <laughs> we are going to uh reset the uh the tts room because there's an mm -hmm. issue with tabletop sim we're going to mm -hmm. go into intermission on the stream and okay. uh, we'll be back as soon as we can it's just going to take a few minutes because we just got disconnected so we'll be right back everybody Stay with us here.
All right, everybody, we are back. We have rebooted Tabletop Sim, got all the players back, so we're going to kick it to Sploosh and Sooner. All right, so we are back. Uh, he just moved uh, Rocket up next to Groot, probably going to look for a deadly duo at some point, um, and that's where we're at. So what do you think, Sploosh, where do you think he goes with Ronan here? You think he just goes straight after Thanos? He seemed to be measuring for it. Yeah. I'm actually not really sure what Proxima is doing. Oh, she no, gonna, no one even scored home. Okay. Yeah, well, there she's you go. gonna she's gonna sit and flip that middle one. Hopefully, I've had these things whiff on me a few times, unfortunately. Oh, definitely. I mean, three dice, it could it can definitely whiff. What is it like? Seventy five percent, I think. Or no, it's way better than that, right? A three three dice, one hit. It's pretty high. I had uh, I lost a game in season two uh, with Cap rolling four with nobody around it. <laughs> yeah, so it, ha I it happens. Uh, I actually lost a game earlier today because it happened. Oh, he gets a skull. Though. Okay, yeah, so he got it. So he gets the home home portal, For and some reason... he does roll skull to take a damage. No, no, it's not the damage on this one. Or, it's move uh, it too. You are correct. Yeah. Yeah, he gets to move him too. Which I don't think uh, Morgan was going to do anything real aggressive because he moved her to the back of the portal. So I don't think he was going to move up or anything. Yeah, it's a good point. It signals that he's playing passively. Yeah, because if he was wanting to advance, he would have moved her to the front of the portal. 
But let's see what he does. It's possible Morgan. Well, Morgan's got three of the portals right now. So he's in a really good spot. (laughs) He's in a great spot. You would think having five characters versus three that the five characters would have a lot of points. You would, yeah. The problem is, is like you know, Thanos can always move, move, and move somebody off. Um, and then he played, uh, Coffee played Rocket and Groot very passively to set up a deadly duo. Um, but I just don't know with this spread out board. I just don't know how long he can wait on that. So what Morgan is signaling by this move here is that he's actually waiting for the Guardians to make a play, and then he can yep. just mothership the off character. Absolutely. He is he is saying, I got three of them. You come to one of them, and I will bring everybody to me. Yeah. This is why we were saying, and, and I think Guardians, like this this here, this movement Ronan is saying, I want to kill Thanos, which, you know, like you said, it, it is relevant to try to take out the leadership. But it's kind of falling into the trap because now Corvus can just teleport onto Thanos mm-hmm. and just start murdering stuff. Especially with him up in points. Because, you know, Morgan's not going to be scared now to leave a portal. Yeah. Um, it, this truck is really a problem for the Guardians as well because it's not going to be easy to get to that portal. Correct. Yeah. It's possible. Yeah, I think, I think Morgan's in a really good position right here. Um, Ronan, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see uh, how Morgan plays next round if he passes and just lets him take shots into Thanos. I guess it just depends on how much damage that Thanos will take. Universal weapon here to get a shock on Thanos would be pretty exciting. Well, uh, you know, the funny play is Thanos really doesn't want to attack Drax or Ronan. He just wants to move him, move, move, and just get him out of the way. Yeah. And he could totally do it easily. Yep. Thanos has got a push on his strike, right? A throw. Jeez. He's got a throw, yeah. So. If he hits a wild, he throws. So, yeah, yeah board, board state here is uh, certainly on Black Order's uh, early early lead with the Black Order. It's funny, too, because if you just look at it without thinking of Mothership, you've got five characters basically all looking at Thanos. Yep. Uh, I mean, you look would at think, that. like, Thanos would be scared, right? But he is but, not. <laughs> no, he really isn't. He's at, he's at full health. He's got two movement abilities, uh, and he can punch you for six dice with it, which will throw you. Yeah. So and he has and then, mid pass. Yeah. Right. Uh, so even if like two characters were on the portal right now, which they're not, Thanos could easily just move them out of the way and take it back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think watching Morgan play Thanos like I have the last few weeks and, and months, uh, it really just shows that, you know, he really is a six character or six threat character. Mm, seven, really. Yeah, seven with the, because uh, pretty much the mind is stapled to him, right? You right, know, you're always, yeah. always going to take the mind. It's just too I, good not to. I think the argument is more that you would never not take the mind or probably reality. Mm-hmm. And so he just, she's just a seven point character. Yeah, which, I mean, you have to drop the mind before the reality, but. Yeah. All right. So end of the round and Black Order goes to three and Guardians goes to one. And we will see if he can take down Thanos next next round. Who's got the Care Bear? Uh, it's Coffee Sin. That's Coffee Avatar. <laughs> wow. You know, if I was like 30 years younger i probably remember the name of that care bear but i I don't even have a picture on mine so it wouldn't even create one no you gotta get a picture in there man i know i know so now he has enough power to mothership 
um, with Corvus and Thanos, but Proxima not yet. Yeah, this this is really showing why you take R and D, huh? I think this he must have played this a few times and realized R and D just had to be played. Yep, and I think he probably had an extra card slot, and he said, "Why wouldn't I take R and D to guarantee my?" That's right. Ship? He doesn't need rocket boots anymore. Nope. He's already you know he's already been playing with. She got two less cards. It's a lot easier to fit it. Yeah. So, all right. Let's see. So Morgan looks to be obviously he'll have priority the whole game about. You know, it's funny. Normally, I would say you priority is the best part of playing Black Order, but with all these characters, I would almost feel be... compelled to do nothing. Yeah. Especially, I mean, he's. It'll be interesting what he does with Corvus and Proxima. I, I mean, I guess moving these characters out of there would be great. Um, you know, because, like, for example, Drax has one power, so he's not throwing anybody unless he gets a nice hit in, which he probably won't. Mm -hmm. Well, if he has two two shots at it, he could get that power. Um, but if Thanos goes first and moves him away, yeah, it's unlikely that just one strike is going to get it. And that's what the uh, Raptor Nest did very effectively against me. Um, it just kept moving me away, so I would have to come in, get a strike, and then, you know, those web warriors were just rolling those blocks, and I just wasn't generating power. It was, it was a good play. You know, Judgment is online. Yeah. Yep. So he, you, he really yeah. wants to judge. Look at Ronan's positioning, too. He is in the middle, ready to judge. Yeah, he's really desperately trying to judge Thanos, which is very smart. Because he's about to try to unload all this damage onto him. You know, we're almost reliving Guardians of the Galaxy's, uh, what, episode one or whatever, first movie. <laughs> yeah. Ronan and the Guardians don't want to give the gem up. Um, I guess Thanos stole it and they want it back. That's right. For all you, you MCP fans, this is as thematic as it gets right here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean the yeah. interesting part is if you look at this the board state right now. I mean, I don't think Rocket can deadly duo and even hit one person. Right. So I think they're all out. Yeah, Morgan did a very good job of being very. Uh, Do you think Morgan uh, passed here? Like, because now we're like measure. Oh, well, okay, he's probably moving him. Okay, moving him. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad play to pass though. I, I really, I normally would never think that. Normally, Black Order's biggest advantage is always going first. Mm -hmm. um, this is interesting. Okay, so maybe he wants to blast him to go further back? Yeah, he's going to double move running. Oh, he's just doing the double. Wow. Yep. It must be because of judgment. He doesn't. He probably doesn't want Corvus to get judged or some some such nonsense. I I think it's definitely because of the judgment because, I mean, he's going to – you can look at the board and tell he's going to try to unload into Thanos. Yeah, you know, normally when I see a Marvel game, I kind of have a general sense of what I would do. But I got to say, since I don't really play Black Order or Guardians, I feel a little bit just as almost a spectator. Um, <laughs> like, I, I get getting – Ronin out of there, but I don't know if I would have saw that. I, I, for me, I'm just thinking, like, why is Drax standing there? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I would have. I, I would like to know that too. Uh, I would have moved Drax further back. Uh, here, here you go. Do you think he's gonna attack him? Yeah, this is the big moment. I, yeah. I kind of think he is, and that's why he's standing there. But man, I don't know. I like. It seems to yeah. me like the you don't attack Drax. That's like, a, and Drax only has one power, so he's like not really scary. I agree. No, I would have moved him further, just moved him away on, on round one. And uh, oh, is Thanos gonna move? <laughs> Thanos is gonna go double flip and flip the back one, maybe. No, that would he be might... really funny, honestly. He might be retreating. Outside of, 
maybe he he is, feels really comfortable at getting that early three one lead. So he'll he'll say that's that, fair. That's fair. So he could just defend the two mm-hmm. and say, all right, now you got to get these two. And, and deadly duo will not be. You, you just heard Morgan say, and he's like, absolutely right. This is why I never flip anything or pick anything up with Groot first turn because deadly duo is actually offline right now. Mm. Uh, Groot has to have two power, and so that's why Guardians players. So Star Lord should have done it. Correct. Avoid at all costs if you're trying to play deadly duo. Avoid picking something up with Groot turn one i know i've seen people on discord say that they've wanted to learn how to play your guardians list so maybe if they're watching i'll start recommending this game uh you know yeah my list is a little different than this uh i would have i would have especially against black order i would have played as many characters as i possibly could not I would, Modoc, then. no no i would have put yeah. as many characters on the board as i could and i would go on each objective try to put like one to two characters I actually think Thanos and um, Corvus are hard counters to Modoc. Uh, so I mean, Thanos, Corvus is kind of obvious Corvus for sure. And then, yeah, well, yeah Cor- I agree. so Corvus is kind of obvious because you know you just he, he he turns your attacks to blanks, and Corvus can use blanks as hit. Um, so it's it's extremely easy for Corvus to do ten damage and two strikes, maybe yeah. even more. I mean, drop off was even better because he got three strikes. Yeah, it, um, was, it was real bad with drop off. Yeah, so, so I'm gonna, the pro- so I'm gonna jump yep. in real quick just Go. for the, the, the guy. So he just double moved Thanos uh back to the back objective, and uh that's all he's gonna do. He used his cosmic portal and the mind gem to move Ronan away. Very uh, interesting. Yeah, 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 he's uh I think he's bunkering up and saying uh I got the points lead. Not only one point lead, but a two point lead. So yep, I think this is very smart. Uh, so okay, so back. So the thing that um, Thanos does that's just oppressive to Modok is Modok does not want to move, and Thanos can make Modok move twice. Yeah. If he if he positions it perfectly, where he goes into like range three and then to range four, he can just get him right out of there. Which is effectively a stagger. So Modok really, I mean, can't do anything next turn. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. And you know, Modok does not want to be. Uh, shooting Thanos at all. No. Because, I mean, he's got, what, four Mystic and then his uh, minus one damage, so it's horrible for Modoc. Oh, yeah. And eight health on the front side, so, I mean, it's probably like three turns at best, and Modoc does not want to be wasting that many turns shooting someone. No, he wants to be killing stuff. And he added med pack, and it's just, ugh. It's a tough cookie to crack. I never would have thought, uh, you know, three characters would be so effective. But I, I really think what what does it is Thanos having the portal in the mind gem. I think that's what makes his list uh, really tick, personally. When you say portal, you mean the mothership? No, the uh, the cosmic portal. So Thanos being able to move two people uh... a turn, um, I think that's really what's ma- what makes this list tick. Yeah, it's like you said earlier, it's kind of a stagger, and it's not just MODOK. A lot of characters feel staggered by yep. Thanos. Mm-hmm. And it just helps him control the board so much better, only having three characters. Look what, um, we, so we have Ronan moving, because he wants to get into accuser range, yeah, or judgment range, sorry. But mm-hmm. um, look at what happened there. I mean, Ronan was basically at deployment again. Yep. Yeah, so I mean, he's just gonna go right back, and he he's may not even be in judgment range. But I mean, so, I don't ha- even know if Morgan's gonna. Att- I don't even think Morgan's gonna attack anybody. <laughs> yeah. How about this for hilarious, right? So you get Ronin to move up again, and then Black Order just goes first next turn and does it again. Yeah, he needs the Guardians player needs to make sure that he puts Ronin outside of three of Thanos. So Thanos. Yeah. Yeah, so Thanos can't start the round and then double move him again. He's just taking, you know, so the Guardians player went full aggro into Thanos and he just, Morgan just completely countered it by saying, peace out. And so now it's like, 
he's going to have to chase him. Right. So if you think of um, actions in this game as an economy, Mor uh, Morgan moved his Thanos for two actions. And look how many characters wasted movement actions. Yeah. Oh, it's huge. I mean, it's like there's yeah. five of them. Yeah. You know? Guardians could not uh, could not afford that round one. That really put him on the back foot. So Ronan just double moved back as far up as he could close to Thanos. Oh, no. He's checking range three, but he's not even checking the range three of Thanos, which, like you said, looks might like be a he, critical error. Yeah, I think he is within range three of I, it's I close. Also think, I think he is, too. I mean, it doesn't matter if Drax is in range because I think no one's going to be there now. I mean, you could theoretically approximate double move mothership Corvus in. Mm -hmm. I don't know that that's the play, though. I think Morgan just sits tight right here, man. And he just waits yeah. to use, use his big plays round three. I mean, there's not a whole lot of sense in doing anything, you know, uh, dangerous at all. Yeah. This is an amazing board position. It's actually just fascinating how much Morgan's manipulating this board. It is. It is, especially against five characters. I mean, I, I think, unfortunately, Coffee going, trying to go after Thanos and putting everybody over there, he really gave up a lot of board position. And like you said, that size four truck over there, they can just hide from Rocket all day long. I wonder if you just try to get the herb at this point, but the, Drax would be grabbing it. I think Drax is like a character you can't afford to have just running around. I think that's the play. I think you have to. I mean, it would certainly probably, swing the game, right? The problem is Drax can't move, pick it up, and then move again. So he's just kind of stuck there. Oh, uh, you only get the one move? Gosh. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you only get one. Even, yeah. So even if you yeah. move before you pick it up, you only get that one move. So, oh, my dude. Herb is so oppressive. <laughs> yeah. But I, I think at this point, it's his only play. I mean, he, He's going to keep going down in points. And Drax is probably the best guy to have it of all the Guardians. True. Um, so he could move Drax. He could flip the – well, the, he doesn't have the power to do that, actually. So he would just have to grab the herb. Yuck. What will be interesting to see is if the board state say, stays kind of like this. If I'm Morgan, do you pick up the herb with Corvus or not? Because then you can't mothership. So probably not. So he doesn't drop it. He literally just cannot mothership. Uh, I'd have to reread the card, but you can't mothership yeah. with a with the asset. You know, actually, I should bring up the chat. You know what? Got to interact with the people here. See if anyone has any questions or thoughts. Oh yeah, you're you you're on chat uh, chat uh, report. All right, I'll do it. Because <laughs> I'm using my phone, so. Sure thing. Um, so it looks like he's measuring. He's he's looking, deciding what to do. Um, you know, we've kind of talked about it a lot, but Morgan's put him in a tough spot. So he's in the think tank. So he activates Drax and moves him to within one of the portal, and he's trying to flip the portal. Ooh, and he yes. gets it. Yeah, he gets so it. um, I had a thought. What if Star Lord tries to get the herb because he can afford a double move and it won't punish him? Yeah, I think one of them should, but I think he's probably gonna try to just go aggro. But I, I think the play at this point with Morgan, Morgan has everybody back. Um, would be get the herb, but look who's sitting at his vessel. It's not. It's not exactly who you want to see sitting at his vessel. <laughs> it's the gatekeeper. <laughs> Yeah, it's like he's like the Grim Reaper. He's like, come to this vessel so I can kill all of you. That was interesting. He had two range tools at the same time. Uh, when I was playing earlier today, whenever I bring, I brought one range tool out, it would immediately reset all the other tools. I think yeah. it was like some rule protection system. Yeah, I think they're implementing that. I well, it worked for me today, so I don't know why it didn't just happen. Maybe they changed the settings. I mean, obviously, he wasn't trying to exploit or do anything weird there. I, he, he was just doing it quickly. But yeah, I mean, a lot I of times I do that 
and I, I'm not using both of them. I just have them both right there for speed. You know, I just yeah. use things up. Yeah, it just it was interesting because I noticed the mod implemented that weird, or not weird, but you know, like interesting attribute or whatever uh, function, mm -hmm. and it's weird that it didn't go off there. Yeah. All right, so Drax just flipped the portal and just kind of went to within one of the herb and the portal. So now Morgan is activating, or he's measuring proxima. Oh, look at this little trick he's doing. He's using the range one to measure, or proxy measure the, the yep. character. Yeah, he's been doing that for a while now. I told you, Morgan's got all the little tricks. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a little bit of a funkiness because there, technically there's no such thing as a range one measurement tool. True. So it looks like what he's going to do, this is spicy. He's going to drop, he's going to mothership Corvus in the middle of all those guys. And go ham. I mean, if you're Corvus here, what do you just murder Star-Lord and try to take out Gru? Yep. Was Star-Lord out of range three? I suspect he was. So I think what'll happen is he'll move, then he'll do a spear throw into Star-Lord. Uh, he might be able to place her and flip the portal, that back portal. Oh, that would be ridiculous. And then mothership in Corvus, and then Corvus is just going to go uh... ham. Interesting he wants to move. I think the sh you're right. I think the teleport's even more effective. Mm -hmm. It gets you more distance, I think. And you can, if you're trying to do damage. Um, interesting. So, so he moved up once with Proxima. He's got one more action. Let's see what he does. I don't know why he's you don't just shoot Star Lord here. I don't know why. He's getting cute. What? Yeah, I, well, I'm not sure why he's measuring two from Groot. I guess he wants to be outside of him a double attacking mm, him. Okay, uh, well. So he's just playing pure position here. He actually doesn't have the power from Mothership. Obviously, he can R&D. Yeah, he can R&D, though, because Thanos has one. What is happening, though? Why is he over there? Yeah, I'm curious to see. He's R&Ding and Mothershipping. Yep. Yeah, but, he's going to try to... I'll tell you this. I think if Corvus's dice go cold here, I think this is actually a mistake. I think he opens up the game for coffee. Well, he also opens up at least somewhat of a uh, deadly duo. Yeah, no, I, I think this is uh, if he interesting If he's play. going for Groot and Groot lives at one, that's massive. Mm -hmm. I would be, it would be absolutely huge. So it looks like he's going to just try to kill. So he's doing all this just to kill Star-Lord. I'm a little confused by this, but hey, Morgan knows what he's doing. Show me the way. So this is a size three truck. Seems like he wants to hide. Oh, because Corvus would be invisible behind this truck. Yeah, he's trying to hide from the behind the truck. This is going to be. It's kind of bold, though, because the way the well, hold on, because he's going to measure range one. Yeah, he's got to be within the, the question is, is, is he can't can he do this being within range one of. Mm, I'd say from there, rocket can't see, though, I got to say. I would agree. So I do not I think really. Rocket... Rocket's the only character he really cares about. Hold on, though. Wait a minute. Is he doing this correctly? Because he has to be able to see Star-Lord, too. Well, that's why he put the range 2 there. Um, there Because they're talking about it on stream. Um, oh, you can hear him talking about the line? Yeah. Yep, they're talking about it. Yeah, it is in line of sight, too. You can see it. Yeah, he said he's he wants to put him where he's within range and within one. So this should be a good good legal play. So we have a comment in this twi uh, stream about how if Drax grabbed that herb, it would take him up to turn five to even get over there to maybe score. That is true. <laughs> that is very true. But and he's got to he's got to get through that truck. So one of the it's be a small movement. It'd be terrible. But I will say that one 
I mean, getting the herb just one time could win this game. Yeah, what's it four VPs if you actually score it? It is, yeah. Yeah, uh, so it's like it just you just win one. It's, yeah, just one time doing it, and you instantly mm -hmm. win. All right, so we got Corvus, mother shop, uh, mother shipping in, and he is going to make an attack on Star Lord. This is unmodded. Not great. It's not great at all. He needs to block this. Oh, huge block! Ooh. That's big because now he doesn't have the power to get the glaive's edge. No, this is this is an yeah. This is he a, only got two on the second roll. He must be. I would be a little frustrated, but it was a gamble. It was a big gamble. Very big gamble. Uh, he pierced it, so he will take the damage this time. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, he doesn't. He I was gonna say he doesn't take damage. He blocked three. No, no. Well, didn't they just roll again? No, they have not. Just one attack. Now he's oh. measuring. I think he's gonna try to go flip the back. Oh, one. oh, it's weird. I saw. I saw. Um, let me check this the chat. Is really close. It's so Morgan's added. purple. He rolled two hits. And then he did another roll off the record. And it had two wilds. I don't I, I saw him re-roll again. I don't know why. Oh, I think he just loaded his dice. I don't think he did an actual uh, roll. Oh, uh, he didn't. Yeah. Weird. So he um, a, no, I think dude, I think he did a roll. No, he's so I'm I'm listening to him. He is attacking now. Weird. And another bad roll. Well, a not great roll. He got two crits, so. I mean, you got to remember the skulls count. Yeah, that's true. Could reroll this, but it'd be a little greedy. No pierces, so I think you take the two. He's gonna plucky. Um... Statistically, he should get one block anyway. I would probably reroll it. Because you're not going to die. Yeah, you're not going to die. Um, That's fair. So I would, yeah. And plus, Star Wars can you use the power. Oh, the, the stupid... <laughs> took an extra... The, the the table knocked it off a wild block. Yep. Oh, man. I See, dude, I, statistically, that was a little greedy. But it like was. you said, he's not dead. And so, like, it kind of doesn't matter, right? Like, really, what's the difference between being at three health and four health against Corvus Grit, you know? And now, look at Star-Lord. He can do four, two full autos in the Corvus. Oh, yeah. I mean, getting the power, there's an argument for Pluckying just to get a better full auto. Yeah, because if he can get rid of Corvus Glaive, I mean... What do you do to him? Shock him and maybe stun? Uh, depends on the damage. You may... Uh, yeah, I'd probably stun him and shock him. Well, and remember, uh, Star Lord can put as many as he wants, as many wilds as he rolls. Yeah, he could get all of them. I mean, he could go nuts. That's fourteen dice. Yeah, yeah, that was a uh, very uh, aggressive play by Morgan. And I, I, think... I got to tell you, um, I feel like if Morgan just did the teleport, like we said, he could have got the same result, but the extra two damage. Yeah. I think he was just so scared of Groot, but Groot's, yeah, I mean. It doesn't make sense not to attack with uh, Proxima there. But, oh Yeah, well. no, I agree, because he could have put her in the exact same spot. Yep, 100%. Mm -hmm. She would have been in closer to the truck, but does that even matter? She'd get cover from the truck. Yeah, no, I think she would be literally in the exact same spot, so... Well, copy. Let's see what he can do now. He has. Uh, it's his moment. Yeah, yeah. Groot. So, do you Starlord. run Rocket to the uh, right portal now, or do you try to kill Corvus? Uh, That's can. the thing. I don't know if he can make the. Would Groot make it? I don't think so. No, Groot wouldn't no. come close. Rocket might make it. Actually, man, that's close. Because Rocket could move directly at the truck right across and small move across, and he might make right. that. 100%. I think it's close. Um, because Deadly Do is offline. So I think at this point, you know what I would honestly do? I would pitch I would pitch Deadly Duo, and I would just go ham with Star-Lord on, on Corvus right now. 
<laughs> uh, Mr. Bonder in the chat says stun on Corvus is amazing. Yeah, no, I agree. Plus, he doesn't have a whole lot of models by Corvus to kill. Okay, you got a, you got a wild. Oh, did that skull roll? Or no, he's waiting. Yeah, he's waiting. So, mm. uh, one block so far for Morgan, so not great. Not good. Not the best. Um, it's only one damage, but he gets to do something. Maybe you stun first. I'd be tempted to shock, do not get greedy. I think you, I think you stun first. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. So he does. So uh, Star Lord put his first full auto into um, Corvus, and Corvus blocked two. Star Lord did one damage and gave him stun. I mean, I gotta say, Corvus is at six power. He's well, okay. So stun would limit him to one power next turn. So that's that's already pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I think you stun him because you're gonna do a damage. Or Ooh, you're gonna do damage. that's pretty good. Four. Eh, he could do better. Uh, <laughs> Those skulls are crits. Yeah. This is a three block. He's gonna take one. Yep. yep. Brutal. Brutal. That's, that that attacking Corvus is in crazy. Um, yeah, but he. And, I mean, if he can live to med pack next turn, it's just ugh. And we didn't get a stun. I mean, we didn't get a shock. Like I would have loved to get a shock here. I I, I actually disagree with the stun. I think. It's a tough call. Because he's mean, at seven right now. I mean, it's like Corvus is already online. Yeah, but that stun stays. So once he starts using his death blows, then it, it, that stun will stay. So I guess the argument for stun is if you don't kill him, you're slowing his offensive output. But yeah. shock theoretically would do a very similar thing. So I, I mean, know. I think at this point, so he has... The back to he needs I think he has to double move rocket at this point. To try to portal. Yeah, because if he does that, then the score is tied up. Mm, yeah, yeah. I guess you're right. Really Groot. Yeah, Groot's just I'm not a big fan of Groot on D's. He's just not the, I would play Valkyrie in this position. Mm, yeah, and, and it comes back to his decision to play Deadly Duo. Yep, yep. And just Deadly Duo is tough on a D, and then you combine it with only three characters. You're probably not going to get a good one. So uh, Mr. Bonder says, stun ruins all you've got plays. That's correct. Yeah, he's right. I'll give him, I, I I'll think give him stun that. I think stun's the right play because once he uses a one death blow, he's gonna be really low on power. He'll want to regenerate, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think I'll give it. Yeah, I, th I think this is a good play moving group, but the problem is group can't flip that man. <laughs> he's throwing two dice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The math <laughs> is real bad. Probably like twenty percent or something, if that. Yeah, not not good. I think at this point you can see Deadly Duo and you just use that as a pitch card. Fair enough. Um, he needs to play... He doesn't have the power. He needs to play Blind Obsession in the next turn or two also. Yeah? Do you have a favorite target for that right now? No. I mean, Thanos, but he's got to get somebody to Thanos. How about kind of weird but like blind obsessed Groot he wouldn't even have the power Groot on Corvus and then yeah the problem have is rocket probably, stand there the problem so I think if anybody you blind obsess rocket is a good one so you blind obsess like rocket into Corvus and you just make sure that Groot is within two of him so you can bodyguard all the attacks that's fair it's range because one, you, though, right? Personal bodyguard. You, it is, but if you if you do it to Groot, then Proxima can attack him with her energy, and he's rolling zero defense dice. Ew, yeah. It's doable. Uh, 
So he's just uh, so coffee is just thinking about what to do. He's got Rocket and Groot left. It's interesting. I mean, I think that if he can flip that far portal because Mothership is gone, um, I think you see Morgan really kind of positioning Thanos so he can go to either side and flip a portal. Right. And Rocket wouldn't be very good at dealing with Thanos. No, but at this point... energy. No, but at this point, you're playing a run. I mean, you're just playing a number. Oh, yeah. Game. You know what? Because then Rocket could just run to the other one. Exactly. I mean, you're just playing numbers game at this point. That's why I said I would have, I would have done this numbers game, and I would have taken as many characters as I could. Would you have played Black Widow? Because I kind of feel like Black Widow would be sick here. I would have. Yeah, she would have been in my list. What happened here? That's okay. Corvus so defense. Groot, Groot moved up and took a shot into Corvus and didn't do any damage. Oh man, that's tough. And let's see what Moment he does of with truth. the rocket. Come on, go for it. No, he wants to kill Corvus. I think he's getting tunnel vision on this. Yeah, he is. He's got, yeah. And what we said about keeping your characters together, this is just a big old murder, murder circle. Yeah, it, it is bad. Yeah, you, you want to give Corvus one or two targets and that's it. He He's just too set on doing Deadly Duo. In my opinion. <laughs> Sugi says the death zone is back. I don't know. You did you end up watching your game back or no? Uh no, I didn't, but I know what y'all are talking about. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Death zone. Uh, we Except just were joking. Was, yeah. There's no Go Corvus ahead. Glaive in that game. <laughs> no, you don't put them in the death. I mean, listen, I'm not saying anyone did anything wrong, but it just became a thing where the big battle in the corner was the death zone. Yeah. And this is like Uber death zone. This is going to be Cor Corvus's death zone, is what it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. Look, look at this. Like one through. Yeah, that's just a med pack right there. Oh yeah, and he gets cover. So yeah. Oh no! Are they calling that cover? They're right too. Oh my god! It's yep. no damage. No damage. So he's done. Three, four, he's on four attacks, and Corvus has two damage two. on him. Yeah, did two damage. Okay, well, I'm starting to agree with you that stun was the right call. <laughs> I kind of pictured more damage would go through, you, um, but... Uh. So, the round ends. Uh, they each score two off the portals. and So, that's uh, a win for Morgan, because that's what he wants. Definitely. Yep, win for Morgan, and... Uh, he will get priority, so it'll be interesting to see. I so, think probably goes with the, the couple here. Here's something else interesting. Um, Morgan's in a situation where there's no way Thanos dies, which means his leadership's online probably for the entire game, which means if Corvus just kills a few people, the VP, you know, gets even worse. Yep, yeah. Coffee needed a, either that last round or this round. He needs some some big spikes here. Poor Ronan. I wouldn't be surprised if Ronan gets pulled in some super obscure corner. Ronan might do absolutely nothing this entire game. Yeah. It, um, you know, Thanos has that ability to just choose someone and say, you don't get to do anything. Mm -hmm. And how he can just jump from portal to portal. I mean, it's just it's oh, yeah. brutal. It is brutal. So what I, Morgan's going to try to do here is obviously kill Star-Lord, Star and then he's going to try to flip that back portal. Um, <laughs> the, the problem that with Coffee's moving Groot and Rocket like that to try, I would assume he's trying to set up Deadly Duo. The problem is you're moving away from your portal, and those are points you desperately need. Yeah, you don't have a leadership that gives you free VP. You need to focus on the actual objectives mm -hmm. in the game. Yeah, because killing Black Order is not an easy task, as we've seen so far. Um, and I don't think Deadly Duo is the card that's going to get it done. All you got, maybe. but. Well, we'll see what the stun can do, because that is his hope to just limit that offense.
Yeah, but he's got online, he's got at least two death blows. Look. So I would assume he's going to just start out by death blowing uh, Star Lord, but we will see. So Morgan is just kind of doing some measurement here, trying to figure out exactly what he wants to do. Um, I can tell you this, if he goes and Corvus kills a lot of stuff and gets that back portal, Drax better be picking up that herb. Because <laughs> 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 that's the only chance he's got if Corvus goes off. He does have field dressing, so, I mean, he does have some counterplay to this. He does have a field dressing. Not a lot of power, though. I mean, no, Rocket maybe that, gets one. Problem. I mean, he just does, there's not a lot of characters to put your attacks in to get that power. Rocket not even hitting for one damage. That's just tough. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I think odds are you probably don't, right? Not with Under cover. Co undercover i mean yeah i think odds are you don't do damage yeah so with the skull and the reality gem i think he's what 50 percent on each dice plus cover and i think covers basically yeah. you know i mean dude cover even works with reality gem if you roll two skulls oh i'm so excited for a storm i hope she had a gives cover to everybody so he did uh so okay so corvus is gone he did a uh, Glaive's Edge into Star Lord, and he killed him. So he dazes Star Lord. Um, interesting he did that a, he chose. Did he do a do naked a, Glaive's Edge? He did a strike Glaive's Edge. It's interesting he did that. I guess he wanted the power because he's stunned. So he had seven, then he went to eight, and then he spent three, and went to six. Okay. Yeah. And uh looks like now he's just going to move and flip the portal. I, I I think he's just not even messing with Groot and, and Rocket right now. It's restricting their power. Yeah. I'm curious to see what he does with Proxima then. Yeah, I mean, do you if I were him, I'd double move Proxima to this far portal over here where the size 4 truck is. Just turn turn that portal off, basically the, the rest of the game. Hmm. So Morgan is measuring here from Corvus, uh, measuring the climb over the truck and get on that back portal. Yeah, you're going to be within range five of rocket. <laughs> 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 with no uh he might yeah, I don't think he can get cover this time. He's debating now. Morgan likes he he's a very uh, good player. He he does a lot of measuring to see what his all his options are. I've noticed that in his games and he's very thorough. Right. It's a it's a good skill to have, that's for sure. Oh yeah. And, you know, um, I do notice sometimes people can get a little lazy. They'll just be like, all right, yeah, I'm on the portal. But you mm -hmm. you never see Morgan, like, just plop no. someone down. Like, you, you're watching here how much time is being spent just, like, measuring his mm -hmm. proximity to the portal, you know? Yeah. Um, some players would just pick up Corvus and be like, okay, whatever, he's here. And I know, and he might be able to, yeah, I was going to say, he can maybe get cover here. He's definitely trying. He's got cover. He'll right have there. it. Yeah, yeah. He'll have it. He, he's definitely got cover. That's, I mean, that's enormous for a deadly duo. Ah, cover's enormous for a guy holding a reality gem and in vulnerability. Yeah, no, that truck is killing. He needs to get rid of that truck somehow. <laughs> <laughs> well, he needs another turn with Drax to do it, and Drax is kind of far away. Yeah, unless Drax can. Uh get a shot off so he flips it no skulls
So now Morgan is thinking about. I'm curious. Is it even possible to roll a skull when you're Corvus? Because doesn't it become a crit? That's a good point. Probably not. No, unless you roll two scrolls. I think Sugi's yeah, saying skulls. you can, but I'm not sure if he's stopped talking to me or not. <laughs> um. So it looks like now Morgan is taking control of the three of the four por portals. And he is deciding whether he wants to activate Proxima. And he is choosing not to activate Proxima. So it will be Guardian's turn. So what do you do here, Sploosh, if you're the Guardian's player? Yeah. So I feel like Thanos just runs back in Drax's direction and flips that thing, and you can't stop it. But if you move... I so I, it's like you're darned if you do, darned if you don't, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, I so I think you, Drax almost has to wait. I agree. I, I think that I think Ronan and Drax needs to be his last two app, app, or, uh, activations. I feel like you've got to get Ronan in the game like now. Um, or maybe not like like you you can't allow him to just also just make Ronan in, irrelevant. Yeah. Um, yeah, but you can't. I mean, if Thanos activates after you flip a portal, I mean, you're just giving that portal right back. So Ronin could just like move up and push Corvus off, and then, but then maybe that's why Proxima hasn't activated yet, because then Proxima could just go over there and block it. Yeah. You can deadly duo, but I don't know if that's even good. You probably would take out. The problem with I Deadly Duo would, is Corvus has cover no matter what. I think what I would do here is activate uh, Groot, and I would just double attack in the Proxima, because then you can get enough power to field dressing uh, Star-Lord at the end of the turn, because he's not going to attack Groot. That's so strong. Groot will be sitting there with him, too. That's what I would do. But he, he's trying to score the herb. A group could get a little lucky. Maybe you could get a root out there. Well, I think you just try to get two damage. So you are at four. So you can field dress Star-Lord. Yeah. Oh, we got an herb pickup. Yeah. So he, he, so I'm listening to him. So Drax is going, he picked up the herb and he is now moving. Um, I, I, unfortunately, I would have liked this play a little later on in the round. Um, because he's giving Proxima and Thanos a chance. I mean, Thanos can now move and move Drax to the other side of the board. Right, and at this if one move wants. a turn, that Drax is officially like out of the game. Yeah, so he almost has to wait on that move there. I think it was the right move. I think you just got to wait. So now Drax is going to take a Blades attack into Proxima. He got nice roll. True. Nice roll. And he he may he may be one shot on Proxima. Did Proxima even roll yet? Oh my gosh. No. no. He one shot her. <laughs> that is okay. big. That is that's huge. a thing that happened. That is that really game breaking, is yeah. Huge. Oh, and now he's on field dressing online and no yes. recourse, really. Correct. Now he can field dress. Uh, do you field dressing like now? No, I don't think so. Um, I mean, you're pretty safe doing it, right? Because if he moves Drax, it's offline and he can't do anything about it. I think. Uh... At this point, what I would do is see what I can do into Corvus. They are they're 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 laughing at Drax's uh, one shotting of Proxima. Hey man, things happen. <laughs> I mean, to to his to Coffee's. Uh, I mean, he hasn't rolled great on defense no, yet, so no, uh, it, yeah. it was kind of due. Yeah, he was kind of due there. Yeah, I mean, the fact that Corvus is at two right now, 
Yeah, and he um, did four. He did three, five attacks. Two, I think you said. Well, and two of them were full autos. Yeah, that's four, fourteen dice, and he got the one wild. Yeah. So Morgan obviously uh, passed. So he passed it right back. Yeah, to the top. He's got a lot of those choices. Oh, that's good for the field dressing. Well, I mean, field dressing is online because right, Thanos but it can't yeah. get back there and attack. Yeah. Okay, so I see why Thanos didn't go right because if he moves to do anything to Drax, then Ronan just goes over and takes a point, and that's a huge swing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe Groot goes and takes. No, no, they already have that point. So I geez. will say, if he if he would have double move Rocket to the outside portal, I think he'd be in a very good spot right now. If if everything happened the same way, right? Because Rocket barely mattered anyway. Yeah, Rocket's and... done nothing right now. Uh yeah, he'd be up. Okay, so he's going with Ronan, and he is universal weapon into Thanos. Hoping, hoping. I oh, guess the wild. To... Yeah, so he's trying to get the push, which or is it the shock? The push, the shock has to hit. The push he's, is the wild. He's going to do no damage. No, uh, nothing. He just pushes. Which is kind uh, of annoying. Which is not for... bad. Yeah. No, it's, this is ooh, good. Because ooh, yes, because then he can move up and take. And, up and flip the portal. Very nice. And then, yeah. Good job, Ronan. Way to contribute. <laughs> you do no damage, but you're at least going to hopefully flip. I, I, you know, when I first saw Ronan, I was so excited to buy his pack. And um, I haven't been that impressed actually playing him. But he's definitely one of those characters that if you just roll wilds every time you roll, he's he feels great. Uh, he just, everything he does loves wilds. You know, he, for example, on his strike, he could throw size four. That's amazing. What, what do we got for here? We're running though. What's he doing? Oh, dude, Drax could have removed the truck that turn, probably. But then he wouldn't have field dressing. So, eh, not as good. I think you 100% field dressing because that also protects uh, the VPs on killing Star Lord. Hey, sooner, are you there? I haven't heard you in a while. Hello? Did we lose sooner? I guess it's just me. Anyone out there? But uh, I'm not sure what Drax is measuring, but I think the play is definitely go up there and grab the portal. Not so sooner. Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> nice, dude. Uh, well, so like we predicted, he's going to move up and uh, do the thing. Unfortunate that Universal Weapon does not provide power. Uh, he, he has an extremely high percent to flip this. I mean, Thanos is probably just going to take it back, but, you know, it's fine. All right. Can you hear me there? I, I do hear you. Yeah, I, I, I had some uh, electronic malfunction. <laughs> we missed there. it! No way. Come on, man. And he got a skull, so he has to get moved. That couldn't be more brutal. Ah, uh, dice game, man. Uh, Absolutely brutal, man. All right, everybody. Uh, it's just, you know, a little bit of this right here, okay? Put the salt shakers out. <laughs> that was uh, That was tough. Come on, Guardians. Oh, that's not nice. Come on. Ronan was trying to be a hero. He was talking trash to, to Thanos. He said, with the power gem, I can take you down. And then he just whiffs. That's a Todd roll.
Uh, maybe it's just a turn zero thing, you know? That's what happens, guys. If uh, turn zero is uh, recording your game, you may have some bad luck. Yeah, that, uh, that's unfortunate. It's tough, dude. That He didn't deserve that. Like, four dice, no one no. on it. He just pulled a uh, cap for you, huh? He did. He did. You, you, you having some bad memories? Yeah. What, what was worse is Cap only had one uh, one damage left, and he rolled a skull. <laughs> so it not only did he oh. not get it, he also dazed himself. <laughs> he dazed himself. But yeah, that's that's a feel bad man. Um, I mean, he, he's still in the game, obviously, but that would have really helped swing momentum. So uh, I was just like, telling the chat. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it looks like he's going to do that play we we said with Thanos. He's just going to move Drax away. I mean, th there's no way Drax is making it to that portal or that vessel. Yeah, Ronan just rolled a skull on the dance roll. He's lost the dance off to Star Lord. <laughs> I like that. So Thanos is he's making a move. I mean, uh, he doesn't even need to do anything with the objective. He's like, whatever. He's going to move I mean, Rocket. Uh, yeah, because his Rocket is threatening to go back there. He's going to move Drax. So this is what I was talking about earlier on in the game when I said I think what really makes this list work is Thanos having those two moves. Right. Um, because without that, I, I think Coffee's in a pretty good position. Yeah, um, and, and I, I just hate to harp on it, but I kind of just wish Rocket was over in the other corner. And if you look, he's measuring two from Star-Lord, so he's getting him out of that field dressing range. I, I would have liked to see Ronin flip that point and then Star-Lord get field dressing. Mm -hmm. Like, I on that yeah, turn, not waiting. I, I agree. I agree. There's no recourse. I mean, there's no no one's going to attack him. I mean, Thanos could shoot him, but then he's like not doing anything else, which is I don't fine. think. Yeah, I don't think Thanos could shoot him. I mean, he he has to double move to get anywhere close to him, right? He's got a oh, it's range three cosmic blast. You're right. He probably wouldn't get it. Mm -mm, not even close. Oh come on, man! You should have done the field trapping. Nah, he wouldn't have even been remotely in the same hemisphere to do that. Mm, I don't know. Because he's in like the, the bike. I think he would have got to about right, you know, the, this concrete barrier um, with the full move. Oh, we, you're, oh, I'm, you know what? You're right because Thanos got pushed. Correct. So yeah. I, oh, it's that makes it hurt even more. Oh yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. This is going to be interesting. Morgan's going in think tank on uh, who he wants to move and where he wants to move them. So he hasn't actually committed to rocket yet. He's just looking. Correct. Yeah, I think he's looking at. I, I I would be shocked if he didn't move Drax. Um, yeah, because Star Lord getting dazed is ridiculously important to Morgan because next turn he just wipes Star Lord out. Yeah, and Star Lord's within two of Corvus, so he's not getting cover this time. No, Corvus is gonna eat him. Yeah, he sure is. How much power? Although he's only got five power and he's stunned. See, that stun was the right play. I like what the chat's saying about how Morgan has the option to go bonkers murdering, but instead opts to be nonviolent, which a lot of players just don't have that self-control. Oh, like no players have that. You know, that's what <laughs> separates him, you know, as one of the top players in the world versus, you know, your, your regular player. They're going to take the attack every time. Right. If you can attack, you will attack, and he doesn't. <laughs> yep. yep. I mean, you just look at the fact that Ronan's standing right next to Thanos, and he's, like, not even looking at him. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what I said earlier. I would have taken as many models, put them on the board, and just ran them around the, bo the board. That's what I would have done if I was playing this game. Yeah. You, 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 uh, you just spread out and give them too many things to deal with. Yep. And uh, when you do get the opportunity to attack because you got nothing else to do, then attack. 
Which is funny because what you're basically saying is both players should be not thinking about killing. Yeah, in a you sense. Know? I mean, that's part of the, that's kind of the name of the game in, in a way, right? Yeah, and I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just sort of being devil's advocate. But, right, like we're basically saying, Guardians, stop chasing Thanos. Go get those points. And Thanos and, and the Black Order are basically saying, yeah, yeah, we can kill guys, but we're going to do it a little surgically and we're going to stress you out on these portals. Yeah. I think I think Morgan is gonna have to to kill. I mean, I don't think he can go six rounds with this many characters running around. Um, who, do you know who won the initiative role in this game? I believe it was Morgan. Okay, so he took the ex- extract. I don't know if you uh, listened to our podcast, but we our last episode we talked about not this game, but Morgan's list against his last opponent. Yeah, I and heard basically. That. Yeah, the most the instant obvious conclusion I came to is holy crap, do not let this man get those secures. Yeah, no, he uh, he won priority sorry. And, and chose extracts. Yeah. You cannot let Black Order get extracts, everyone. Do not let <laughs> it happen. So he does not move a uh, rocket. Um I don't think Rocket's within two though of Star Lord. Um, but if Rocket could do one damage to somebody. So, uh, chat's obviously saying they took field dressing away by moving Drax, but not to be forgotten, Drax is also carrying an herb. So he took herb away as well. Yeah, I think, yeah. And Rocket can technically, I mean, he just needs to do one damage to Thanos and then he can walk over and field dressing. I don't know if it's the best play in the world. Mm -hmm. But are we doing the uh double move measure here? We are. He he learned from Morgan. <laughs> He's like, hmm, maybe I can do this too. <laughs> I it honestly he might just be ch- trying to shoot Cor- Corvus without cover, but ugh, this is you don't yeah. Uh... You don't I think, think he's gonna try to deadly duo, do you? I hope not. I mean, oh, maybe he is. He's gonna try to deadly duo into a field dressing, which is a better. I'm okay with. I mean, it's not. No, great. you can't. You can't use two. Yeah, I don't know, man. You you're really relying on dice. You're um, trying two. to shoot both of those characters, right? It's two, right? And you're gonna get three shots to try to gain power. You need to get two power. Three. That deadly duo is only two, isn't it? Yeah, so that oh, would take oh, right. He's only at one yeah. left. Yeah. Ooh, three is not good. No, I don't, I don't. That's very dicey. I think he's going to try to do it, though. I don't know what. So, Deadly Duo's range two of. Of Groot. Yeah, he can, I mean, he can easily get in position. He doesn't even need to move Groot, really. I don't. Oh, I guess Groot could just try to wallop him and get a couple power too. Yeah, I mean, he, no, he he's, has he's got outs. two chances to do it. Correct. Yeah, he's got outs, but you know, attacking Corvus is not always a guarantee. The question here is, you you, so you want to go with Rocket first, right? Because let's say you get lucky and days Corvus, then Groot can try to double move and flip that back objective. So he should right. be doing Rocket first. And and you know what I would do with Star Lord right now if I did get him back up, run to the other corner. Yeah. Now he's going Groot Star-Lord's... first. Nice. Okay, so he's activating Groot and he moves him. He. Keeps them within two. So what I'm seeing here that I don't like is he's being in range two of Rocket, but if Rocket shoots from there with Deadly Duo, he's just giving cover t- to Corvus a million times. I agree. I agree. Well, we'll see. Okay, so Ro- uh, Groot's doing an attack into Corvus, so he needs to get a- do two damage here. To... That's pretty good. Yeah, he, he sure might have. Come on, uh, Groot. Uh, That's Uh, good for him. 
So he's he's gonna not he, not good crit rolls, but two blocks to but he's gonna get the two he's gonna two get the power. two power. Big, 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 big. So yeah. Uh what he could do now is just double move rocket to get that point and then get no, Star Lord no. out of there. I would I this is what I would do if I was him. I would field dressing Star Lord and Star Lord double moves to that outside portal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. But then Rocket could go back to well. Rocket probably doesn't get that thing out of Corvus's hand. So, well, ro okay. So Rocket could. At this point, really... you have to give get everybody away from Corvus. It's Operation Leave Corvus No Targets at this point. That's fair, actually. Just run away from Corvus. Everybody. Yeah, I mean, everybody run away from Corvus at this point and try to score as many portals as you can. Okay. Because you're gonna you're gonna. So uh, what do you do with Rocket then? I would probably move Rocket outside of two, either double move him or move him outside of two of Thanos and shoot Corvus. Okay. Um, I mean, I think you try to daze Corvus here. Please tell me he's field dressing. Uh, he might be waiting because he can wait. He's measuring there's, two, so. There's really no reason to wait. There's not. Um, you know, you could activate. Well, I like Star Lord going over the truck, so I don't even think Star Lord shoots. Um, I think you go with Rocket first, do yeah. a shot, do move, do a shot, and see what he does because he could. Uh, I mean, he could technically, you know, daze him. If you're Morgan, you probably don't feel great right now. I don't think you feel bad, but you're probably slightly nervous. Yeah, I think he went from a pretty commanding spot to not. And, and I'll tell you, I think it was that mothership play. Yeah. Um, no. That that gave Coffee an out, in my opinion. Right. Because you brought two targets into the beef of where he wants to do damage. Oh, man. Rocket makes it right on that point. That's perfect. Rocket moves, shoots Corvus, hopefully takes him out. And then mm -hmm. maybe gets a portal. Yeah, but then, yeah, and then he Groot can take all the damage and die for him next turn. Yeah, yeah I like it. And then and yeah. Star Lord runs over. Yeah, Star Lord gets out of there. Come on, man, please do this. Everybody hold your breath. Please, <laughs> yeah, please tell me you, he, he field dressings and then run Star Lord double double. Yeah. Because that will make the game very interesting. All right, and I want to see how it goes with that play. And I mean, Drax, yeah, Drax not going to score the vessel, but hey, Drax has an extra uh, attack dice. So not a bad thing. I hope they don't forget it either. That's something people forget all the time. Yeah, he remembered it the first time. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, because he had the big hit. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. Um, This is definitely a moment where your opponent's taking a little while here. I would be kind of hoping. We can make play so seems are they discussing something there's a lot of so yeah there. morgan is discussing he has a chance to play a card but he has no cards he can play right now because what's he thinking about i don't know did he miss blood despair or is it because of the one shot he didn't have med pack is the act of he might be thinking med pack but med yeah active character yeah he has no cards. I feel like they reverted this mod because when I played earlier today, the buttons were different on the templates too. Did you see that? They moved the move button up into the top of the templates. I saw that. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I've, it's caused me a few misclicks. I'll say that. Is it possible for someone to be like old cat? How did he do that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. An accuser needs to jump in. He just played med pack. Doesn't Sh medpack say something? It's specify. active character. It has to be an. He has to actually be activated. Yeah, patch up is the non-active. Correct. This is an accuser needs to jump in. I mean, I, I don't. I, I'm gonna not say anything, but because th this is play. This is breaking. Unfortunately, this is breaking the rules. 
And I he's want doing to say it. something so bad. He's not. I mean, he's not doing it intentionally, but can he be? Can he do it if he's not? Yeah, he's yeah, not yeah. Activated this needs, or he's oh, already maybe, been activated. Oh, uh, maybe. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops. Okay. That's yeah. Okay. I, they I was caught gonna it. Say, I didn't think there's any they possible way you could mess yeah, that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say that's that would be that's huge. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they caught it. Yeah, that's something you got to jump in on. That's. I. Yes. I agree. Yeah, yeah. And I'm taking the test to be an accuser tonight, so I'll pass. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> you're, so you're like almost an accuser, you know? Yeah, trust me, accuser. I'm gonna pass. Okay, great. I actually didn't don't want to take the test because I I just never feel like I even when I feel like I know all the rules, I I always just I don't know. I, I'm not one I, of those people. I agree with that. I agree with that. All right, so it's back to coffee. He's thinking about what he wants to do. Um, he said that med pack play kind of got got in his head, so he's got to refigure out what he wants to do. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. That um, yeah, that happened, but I, I, it can happen. Mistakes happen. Oh, absolutely. He did it completely unintentional. Yeah, I I had a game yesterday where I just my opponent and I we completely spaced out on the extra power on the serums for uh, two turns. Oh, like, that's brutal. oh my god uh serums and uh, you know i automatically get that because when i was playing wakanda i used to play infinity almost every time so i'm like it's burned in my brain ah uh, like dude it's like my favorite objective and i just i haven't played it i guess in a while i don't know yeah There's okay so, many so he said now. So he said, basically, if he rolls a ton of dice into Corvus, he's going to daze him. So I don't know if he's going to do the double move with Star-Lord. So if he tries to deadly duo... Okay, here he we go. Could, he's, hold on, here he we go. He could ruin he's, it, though. He's popping deadly... Or, uh, he's popping... Field uh, dressing? Field dressing. Oh, thank so God. He field dressing the Star-Lord with group. Okay, guys, he's doing it. So far. And uh, he's just debating who he wants to activate. Uh, well, if he's on the runaway with Star Willard plan, he it's obvious. Yeah. But you could be a little well, conservative and do uh no no you can't not i take it back i was gonna say maybe you can do like one shot with star lord and then run but i think that gives corvus too much chance to catch you oh for sure one death blow gets him easily there one yeah, death blow it... so star lord's going and he is shooting corvus with a regular shot uh oh no, he has three power. Why would? Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't full auto first. At best, this just puts the objectives at parity. Yeah. Well, I guess he wouldn't be able to flip the objective. Yeah. Uh... But I was playing on Rocket doing that, but. Uh, only one block from Corvus. But there's only one hit here. Yeah, I know. Nothing. Yuck. Oh, he is going to plucky attitude. This is fantastic. Okay. You know, Come I always on. forget about plucky on the uh, attack roll. Oh, he oh, didn't get it, though. He got nothing. He got a wild. Oh, wait, that does nothing. Ah, okay. He's a lot of roller coaster right? of emotions. And he rolled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dice there and did no damage. He's now he's going he's going full on he's doing a full auto now. 
He's upset. So I think his plan is to daze Corvus and then flip the objective. The problem is, is Corvus is going to murder everybody next turn. This and is terrible, bro. This is this terrible. Is terrible. Uh, he got it. No, he got it. No, he didn't. No, it's it's one. He blocks one. one damage. Yeah, no, I mean he. I I mean I'm sorry. I meant yeah. Morgan. Morgan got it. Okay, so he can still move Rocket up, hit him once, and then get it. Yeah, but not even getting the wild. That's just disappointing. He's been. I mean, he's had those two huge hits, and then he's rolled nothing other than that. It's been feast or famine for him, man. So he's debating on winging it here just to get that damage in. That's brutal to winging it here. Yeah, I, guess I don't. Just, I screw it to deadly duo, but I wouldn't do. I wouldn't wing it for one roll. There is a place where Rocket could go and shoot both Corvus and. Cor uh, Corvus and Proxima, and he could even go nuts on Blind Obsession. But probably Morgan would just move so that it doesn't work. Yeah, I mean, the problem is Corvus is going to kill two, maybe three people next turn. I mean, the good news is, is if he can daze Corvus this round, uh, he takes all you got off the table. Well, I mean, more, of course, I mean, to his side, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, he would KO, you know, Corvus. I don't think he can win this game with a KO'd Corvus, right? Probably not, unless it's uh, deep in the game. Yeah, yeah, he'd have to use it round five or six. And if it's scoring you VPs, you maybe do it. It's huge, absolutely huge that Star Lord is not dazed. Yeah. So he, yeah, because he has nobody dazed. So he ditched Brace. Okay, that makes uh, sense. So he's just going to shoot, he's going to shoot through cover here. Oh my, oh my God. Terrible. Wait, why is he shooting through cover? No, misplays. Oh, it's, it's like two blocks. Uh, he got him. That, that uh, okay. The cover didn't matter. Yeah, no, he did his he one. Out of that a little, but that could have been that could have been a problem. Yeah, thank God for the winging bit. Oh, he's gonna play blood despair. Interesting. So maybe that's why he's so far away. But Groot could have just taken it anyway. Well, Groot already went. No, I'm saying he's gonna blood despair, and he can't hit Rocket back. Uh oh, oh but right. he killed Star Lord. It's going to be interesting because he's going to death blow here. Are you allowed to death blow on that? You oh, no, no, yeah, yeah. You can death blow. I meant Glaze Eyes, but he's death blow. So this could be ridiculous because Rocket's yep. exposed right now since he's not next to Groot. And then next mm -hmm. turn, you'll activate again and get two VPs. Yeah. And he's going into Star Lord right here. So seven dice into Star Lord. He does not get Did not get the wild, but wild, probably no wild. Uh, but that's four damage. It's like no, yeah. it's not happening. He dazes him, but that's big not getting the wild. There's no reason to reroll this. Um so Star Lord dazes. That's uh, so that's Blood Despair just earned its keep big time. Mm -hmm. Blood Despair is a good card. I've seen him use it very effectively. And look what he just did. He just blocked a uh, rocket. Perfect. No, he should have moved rocket first. Oh, my gosh. That's that's hard. That's hard to watch. You move rocket away at this point. Or you move oh, him one of group. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the next level thought play here. I will say he's going to be, he is only going to have three power going into next turn. So he's. Uh, he's, it's not happening. 
No, you. He's I would move him away. Blocked. Or move him within, or move him within one of group. I think he's all in on the something with plucky or uh deadly duo and maybe even an all you've got or a blind obsession i don't know but i would does Groot have three power no i was gonna say Groot would be a great blind obsession right now on corvus oh, he's gonna tell him you gotta move that back he's not gonna let that happen yeah he's not within one anyway so He's not going to get within one. Yes. Ah. Oh, man. Well, Tate, you know what? This is how you become one of the best players in this game. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, pra you, you practice, you learn yeah, your list, and I mean, you, you think about these things. No, it's a great, great play. Uh, mo most games at a high level come down to one or two mistakes, an entire game. And uh, yeah, I don't see Morgan allowing that placement. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's really no point in trying to fit him in there. There's yeah. absolutely no point. Uh, he might be trying to get away from Thanos. Because Thanos might be able to pull him out of Deadly Duo or something. Yeah, but then he's not pulling Drax or Ronan, so. Uh, but, hey, you know, uh, Raptor's saying choices matter in the chat. And uh, isn't that really why we play this game? Of course, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's absolutely the game. So this is, this is going to be extremely hard for Coffee to come back because he's now down four points. And he can get one point from Star Lord right here. So what that what Morgan just did was basically a two VP swing, uh, and just from stopping that point, which, you know, is huge, right? Yeah. But then, but then now you're going to get maybe another VP off the days, pretty mm -hmm. much guaranteed. Yeah. All right. Uh, so they are they flipped around. Uh, Morgan has. All you've got and med pack left and uh, coffee has blind obsession, deadly duo and all you've got. It's all aggressive cards. This is the turn for aggression for sure. Yeah. And it looks look, like look, look at poor Ronan over there in the corner. Ronan's done almost nothing all game. Yeah. He had a nice push and then he just flubbed the dance off. Yeah. That was real unfortunate. Uh, this so, death zone is getting up close and personal. We have four models touching each other. <laughs> so this will be interesting to see how much Corvus can kill on three power because he's only got three power. So right now, Coffee is just deciding on whether he wants to play Blind Obsession or not. The Guardians of the Galaxy are trying to hold hands and try to hold a power gem. That's their power move. Yeah, I mean, this is the this is the the climax of uh, the first movie, right? Yeah. Take my hand. Purple beams shooting everywhere. I you mean, know, I'm and... pretty sure Kevin Bacon's going to jump on the table anytime now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And you know, with all the cards, uh, and I guess elected not to play Blind Obsession. He did. He decided not to. He said really the only person he could play it with was Ronan, and he doesn't have a good target. Yeah. Ronan's just going to get kicked to the curb. Yeah, I and... think I would have played it with Rocket there. Um, yeah, I think the fear with Rocket is maybe, maybe he's Thanos got no just throws. But Thanos could move up, pull Rocket in, and then just punch him in the face. Yeah, but then he's not going with Corvus first. Sure. Do you think, do you so think Corvus is going to die without Rocket there? I don't, but I would not I would not put that in the hands of the Dice Gods. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Never trust the Dice Gods. They'll turn on you. I would not put that um, in the hands. Uh, it looks okay, like so, we are going with Corvus. Yeah, Morgan's going. He's going with Corvus. He did a Glaive's Edge onto Star-Lord. 
So five dice counting blanks. Very nice. This is probably going to one shot Star Lord. Yep. Yeah. All hits. None of this matters. Nope. Uh, yeah, it does if he rolls two blocks. Seven. Yeah, he doesn't. Seven goes through two blocks. It'd be five. You're right. Yeah. I was. I can't the tell. Skull tricks you. There you go. Yeah. Bye bye, Star Lord. Star Lord is gone. Thanos and that's a VP a scored. He moved it yeah. up. So the score is now nine to four. Yep. Not he's, in a, he's in a tough spot. I, I think this game might just be over. I, I hate to call games, but. Um, yeah, that... I, I think we'll know after this round, right? I mean, after this round, we'll for sure know. I mean, it, the problem it... is Ronan yeah. and Drax are so far out of position. It's just they can't really do anything. I wouldn't be surprised if Proxima goes and scores that corner, too, just to frustrate him. Oh, for sure she's going to do that. Well, I don't know if she'll do it this turn, but I would do it this turn. Why not? Yeah, just husband, wife. Boom. Yep. Corvus gaining a casual five power on one attack. Yeah, it's brutal. So he's going and he's glaives. He's debating. He's thinking he's going to do another glaives edge. I think he knows he's won. Like he's looking at the score and what the round count, and he's thinking, "I'd want yeah. to run away with Corvus right now." Or you just put him within three of the portal, so next turn he can do a, immediately do a death blow. Like, attacking Groot's pointless if you don't one-shot him, right? Well, yeah. I mean, at this point, attack another attack with Corvus is going to do nothing. Yeah, I mean, short of a massive spike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, doing seven when he's rolling four, uh, four physical defense, that, that's even for Corvus, that's a tough ask. The problem is, is Copy's got three cards left. They, I don't know if he's going to be able to use, and Star Lord's dead. <laughs> so, well, that's another argument for moving Proxima out of there. Mm -hmm. Don't even give him the range five. I bet you if you go in the back of that point, you're out well, of range five. Well, and Corvus can go behind this truck. This truck is size three. This Yo, I gotta say, right he's eyeballing Groot and maybe trying to kill him at Proxima. I think that's a mistake. Like Proxima it's, it is can, three more attacks. Proxima does have some good energy attacks. That's true. She could just ignore. So the he is. He's gonna. Attacks. He's gonna glaze edge into uh, Groot. I think it's. Uh, yeah, I think he kills Groot here. Well, he got a Pierce. Uh, yeah. In the, yeah. I mean, he's not gonna kill him with. Oh, uh, he almost got it. Yeah, the Pierce. So there's just no blocks. So. Four damage go through. Huge damage. And then Proxima goes and finishes them off. Yeah, Brutal. two energy strikes and he's dead. Might even need only one. Right? You probably I mean, just do energy here. It's five dice. I, I, he only gets two. Oh, for sure. I would do... I'd probably just lead with a... She, she doesn't want to be any closer, so I would do a Quantum Starburst here. Oh, wow. She's got seven power. That's a thing she can do. And then I do a quantum starburst, try to finish him off, and then move and flip that portal. Yeah. That's a that's a pretty game game ending play right there. Now, if you don't kill him, let's just say you roll terribly. Mm -hmm. Do you you gotta go again with another strike, probably? Because mm -hmm. I don't think you can leave Groot powered up and big. No, because Groot can do a I am a Groot. So yeah. unlikely that he whips, but you know, dice or dice. I am a Groot is a six power attack. That's ridiculously expensive. It is, but it is a really good attack. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. it, it's a throw and a stagger with that. You, there's no, um, you just get a throw and a stagger. You don't have to damage or throw it, get a wild or anything. Yeah, uh, I want to say hi to Jake. So he's, he's going with watching. <laughs> he is. Uh, he's going with Proxima. He is doing a spear blast into Groot, or spear throw into Groot. 
Ooh, uh, that's really big. good. Yeah. That's yeah. It's just all that's it. Up. Yeah, man. Uh, tough. That's to a game. Yeah. Um, because now he just goes and he flips that portal, or he could just play it safe and just run away with Proxima. Well, nah, get the portal. She'll make I it far. Will. She'll be out of range of Drax to, without moving, and even if Drax messes her up, does she care? No. It, 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 have you ever seen that meme with like the fat like rodent, and it says like "Do what you must, for I have already won." And it's like no. ate all this food. Basically, this like yeah. I don't know, this weird critter jumps. He broke into like what looks like a bakery or something. And he just ate like mm-hmm. everything. He just covered in like jelly. And uh, the the captions do what you must for I have already won. Yeah. And uh, that that's what the the feeling with Black Order right now is like. He is playing it passively. He's gonna hang out in the truck with cover. Yeah, he doesn't I, I look get... like he's. Well, he's it... still got an action, so he's. It looks like he's not going to the portal. Well, though. right, because if he was gonna go to the portal, he would have gone the other way. Yeah. I think he's just looking at the score and he's saying, there's no way. I, I don't need that portal. And you can't deadly, uh, you know, you can't, yeah, de- deadly duo because now Groot's out. Well, he's trying to kill, he's going to try to kill Rocket now. Wow. I mean, it could just happen. Yeah, I think he's going to, I mean, a, qu- a quantum starburst could kill him. He's it, at it too. Maybe he did that a little oopsies. Uh, I don't. Why would he need to be with him too? He might just want to do a strike with Pierce. I guess I would. I would do quantum star starburst. Unless you hold that power to do it to Groot next turn. He's saying out. He 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 wanted the strike, but he might give in the burst. Why not? I mean, heck, even if you even if you don't kill someone with the beer burst, auto bleed poison is stunned. Bleed's ridiculous. I'm. Poor little rocket. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and he's going to keep priority, um, which is, I mean, this game is, is um, unfortunately, I think this game's up. Yeah. I mean, the fact that he does all of this work, you know, the rubber band technique is or, or mechanic is supposed to prevent him from getting priority again. And, and husband and wife just, it breaks almost a mechanic of the game. It really does, and oh, you know, I'm sure they'll be very cautious with that. But yeah, I, I, I yeah, one of my losses this season was uh, Rocket Boots Corvus killing Red Skull full health and 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 Modok, and uh, yeah, and then he got to go first the next turn, and it's like yeah, okay. it's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, Rocket Boots with Corvus was it was just so stupid, oppressive maybe. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, doesn't do much. Not a great roll. Rocket it should did, be. Rocket is very fun. both. Takes but it, I mean, at this point, uh, at matter. this point, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's just too much of a lead, and there's not enough characters to run around anymore. Uh, no, ba- there's no way yeah. for him to get the points he needs. Like even if he was to get awesome rolls and day or KO Corvus here, it, it doesn't matter. Thanos will take will will bring this home easily by himself. Yeah. And Thanos has taken no damage. Uh, Med Pack is still online. Yep. And, and if Thanos yeah. really wanted to go nuts, there's still all you've got with almost no consequences. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it's it's dire for the poor old guardians. So he's, hey Vaughn, I watched your game uh, against Corvus Proxima. I, in Vaughn's game, Corvus dazed four characters on turn two. How ask Vaughn how he liked that uh, Modoc shooting into deployment tonight? What was that? Modoc can shoot into deployment with pentagrams first turn. He can double double tap into deployment. Hmm? Really. Yeah, it's if it's, it's lined almost, up exactly perfectly with the portal. If you just go straight forward, yeah, he can double tap. Did that happen in a game? 
Yeah, he, uh, yeah, it was wild. Oh, I mean, so it was a league game. It was, uh, I think, the in the, you know, the Beta Splendens or whatever it's called league game. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. I did see yeah, um, he, Utility Cookie play a uh, Modoc portal, and it was amazing. Yeah, he's using it. Yeah, he's using it to great effect. Yeah, I think that uh, I think that uh, card is a lot better than I gave it credit for. Uh, I actually played against that card today in a practice game against Jacob, and he beat me using Hulk. Yeah, uh, basically it's better he just than I thought. Hulk in, and then Hulk just grabs like two objectives and like runs away. <laughs> and uh it's a freak it's a 20 health character running around with orbs i mean anything uh anything in this game like drop off and, and that that creates that big of a mood because like you said earlier activations are so limited when you can get such a, a head start on those movements it's just huge right like kiting four characters might cost four characters two actions it's eight actions i mean your economy is just burned up Mm -hmm. so he looks like he's going with ronin here um i don't know what he's gonna accomplish oh i guess he's just measuring if i was drax i'd throw this size three uh ambulance into uh oh vaughn says he lost the yeah. killmonger without monger even moving that is gross yeah, no, he just he shot him in the deployment. He didn't even he didn't even move him. <laughs> wow, I gotta check that out. I will say that uh, the other players, Modoc, did get uh, dazed that first round, so he paid uh, he paid too high of a price for it. Mm. Yeah, one of the plays that um, Jacob did to me was. When I finally caught up to Thor or uh, Hulk, Hulk picked up uh, my saber tooth and launched a medium, and then went in a portal to the other side of the board again, and then ran away. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, so it looks like he's activating Drax here, um, or at least he's May thinking oh, about it. maybe to throw Thanos into rocket. But Thanos hasn't even activated yet. Yeah, no, there's I. I he, He's trying to think of a plan, and, and unfortunately, I just don't think And he can only plan. move once, so he can't even threaten the portal. No, 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 he can't. The portals are pretty much locked down now. You know what's really gross is the fact that he can then have Drax double move away, and poor Drax is in prison in the corner of this board. Yep. <laughs> Tough, man. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I would just move Drax as close to the ambulance as I could, do an attack, throw the ambulance into Thanos, and and see what happens. You just rely on big dice. Well, yeah, I mean, what else are you going to rely on right now? You got, you have no outs. Yeah. I mean, if you got extremely lucky and dazed Thanos, then yeah, that would be big. Yeah, well, it's not gonna happen. But if, what, what yeah, and, and if you leave him at one, he med packs and then oh, beats yeah. you down. Well, even if you do any damage, Thanos just goes probably, you know, double moves to the other portal and flips the the one Guardians has. That's true, and they'll score four VP this turn. Well, Ronan should be able to flip the back one, but yeah. <laughs> As, yeah, so but, I mean, he, he could flip both. He could just move Ronan off, flip well, that one back, and then move yep. Drax somewhere stupid, and then go grab the other one. Sure could. Yeah. Thanos is brutal. He's good, man. Well, and he really... So the problem is, is I don't know what D scenarios he had, but you can't play this one in the black. <laughs> you you the need to one. play Extremis or... The cosmic the one. the sixteen threat one yeah yeah uh, because I you agree mean... I don't I don't play this one I don't like the power cost on most lists either um you know like having to pay power for secures and extracts is just exhausting for some lists yeah doing a lot of thinking um i don't know are there, what are they talking about 
Uh, he, it's just coffee is just kind of keeps saying, I don't know if I can do everything I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> we know. I mean, yeah. and, and I hate to um, not get too deep into strategy at this point, but like, to be honest, this is the point in the game where the dice have to bail you out. Correct. That's what I'm saying. I mean, he's got no, he's got no hope. I mean, he's got to just do something into Thanos and hope that his dice go insane. Yeah. I mean, this is where I don't take much time. I'm, I'm moving Drax. I'm doing a strike, and I'm throwing that ambulance into him. Um, also worth noting, in the beginning of this stream, I mentioned, uh, will Morgan attack Drax? And the answer is no. Yeah. I want to ask him, though, in that very first round, why he moved, moved him where he did. Moved more, uh, like, Drax. Thanos up? Remember when he didn't push him, he didn't move him away, he just oh, moved him out. Good, good. That's a good question. Le left him in range two. It's was interesting. I, I think what his thinking was to double attack him with Thanos next turn. And then I think the next turn he when he read Drax's card, he said, <laughs> Okay, never mind. <laughs> and never yeah, we're good. Yeah. Okay, so he did go with Drax. Maybe somebody messaged him. They're like, no, 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 don't do that. So he's throwing Thanos. I... No, he's checking the ambulance. I, I like that. And then you do like the Drax no. headbutt or whatever. No, he's talking about, he's measuring because he, yeah, he's throwing Thanos. Oh, okay. I don't like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what what throwing. I'm not sure what throwing Thanos away really accomplishes. The answer is nothing. I think you do ambulance strike and just hope you get hit big hits, and then he's going to med pack, and then, and then, and then he's just going to move Ronan away, and probably just go score this portal thing up here. Um, or so, or pass or something. Yeah, you probably pass if you're. You probably like. No, you can't activate. So you'd have. You probably just pass if you're Morgan. Well, that's why you want to do as much damage to Thanos as you can because you don't want him to be able to just sit there. So apparently, he did decide to throw Thanos. I don't. He know did. Why. Yeah, I can hear him talking. And but that so doesn't even do him. damage. No, it literally does. And it moved, he moved him what, like an inch? What did that help? If anything, I, he put Ronan think... in the range of the two warps. And then I think now he's going to headbutt, which is going to do no damage. Even if it spikes, he's just going to move him somewhere that Thanos. Well, okay, I can So if you move Thanos back more, then Thanos can't score the corner. So he's saving a VP, I guess. Yeah, but he doesn't need that corner. Well, he's no, up like, five points. Yeah, he do, he really doesn't. Pro three. Wild does bleed. So no block Thanos, for Thanos. Takes two. And a bleed. I'm sure, they'll remember it. And he pushes him short. Push him. Oh, wait. wait. Why is he pushing him, actually? There's he did no... a headbutt. Okay. Oh, so he paid two power, so there is no bleed. He gets stun. Yeah, I'm not in. Thanos well, he can't is be immune, stunned. immune to stun. Ugh. So I'm not sure what that... I don't know. Uh, and you pushed him. He's now not anywhere closer to Ronan. Um, he's probably going to move Ronan and move Rocket maybe he can't well he can't really well he could do a double move to get into range of Rocket and then get in range of Ronan yeah that's what he's doing he wants to be three of Ronan so he'll move to the corner I think what he's I think what he's going to do is just move Ronan move, move Drax 
Mm, he's measuring Rocket. I think he's going for Rocket Watch. It'll be a double move. He might even be moving Rocket out of, like, to redo. So there's uh, cover for Proxima. Yeah, it, it's just, I mean, what is his? What is the Guardian's game plan? W what did that do to score you more points? Because that's the only way. He honestly is maybe thinking of passing? Because then I think he did pass. Ronin... Yeah, that's what, that's what I thought he would do. Because what's yeah. Ronin going to do that matters either? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. He, he, has a, he doesn't have enough to pre-justice. So, Speaking yeah. of that, he could have judgment, but he didn't. No, 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 he never attacked. Jeez. Yeah, it's crazy. So we're back into thinking again, I guess. Yeah. He's thinking on what he wants to do with the rocket. Is there any team in the game that is more about killing than Black Order? I guess it's just straight up no, right? Yeah, I mean, that's the problem is he's trying to just kill, 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 and it's so hard to do against them. Yeah, it's... I, I, if you Were you ever, like, a Magic player? Or did you play card games at all? I played it real casually. Well... It's kind of relevant for this, but in Magic, uh, there was this idea of like a control player, and all they did was kill everything, and then eventually the game would kind of tie down, and then they would win. Yeah. And uh, and if there would be sometimes situations where two people were both trying to be the control player, and you would have to, one of them actually would have to stop, would stop being the control player because you can't yeah. both yeah. be the control sure. player. Yeah. Well, I'm so just thinking is, like he is if, going with Rocket here and he's taking a shot shooting, in the corner. Florvis. Florvis gets the block. Um, but yeah, at some point you have to realize you're not the control player. Exactly. So if you're trying to kill, but the other guy's better at it than you, you got to like change your plan. Mm -hmm. and, and then he's doing it again. So I think Corvus took one, I think. Yeah. And... Uh, Yeah. Double crit. <laughs> yep. Formus is in infuriating to attack. Oh yeah, he's infuriating to play against. That's three blocks. Yep. So, so he did one. One. Yeah. I was uh playing a game, a league game in my. I was playing Corvus and I attacked a full health Captain America, and I I took him out with his. You can do this all day. Didn't even matter. Yeah. Uh so he's all you got in uh rocket. He's doing it again. Wow. I mean at, at this point it, you might as well. What else? Yeah, why not? Only two. Uh, looks like two. Oh uh, takes one. Yep. I mean that's really all you can hope for with Corvus. You just kind of give him take him one, take one. Well and and you need like attacks that can do like it, he needed an attack... another power. He wanted to or an attack with a th with a throw, you know. Yeah. No hedron because he's one power off. I'm sure that's a little frustrating for him. He's uh, he's debating on walking up and trying to flip the the uh, portal. <laughs> I mean, the likeliness of that. I think we talked about it's probably like twenty percent or something. Uh, probably and lower than that. Lower? Yeah, two hits, maybe not. Maybe not. Two hits is not that unlikely. Yeah, he had crits in. It gives you a little buffer. I mean, uh, I think at this point, he's going to attack him. I think you have to go for the points. We already talked about this. He's way behind in points. Right, and th so killing Corvus actually does nothing for you. Correct. Oh, right, you got a good... Uh, you got a All good right. one. What do you got, Corvus? Show us. Corvus has to get zero blocks here. It's possible, very unlikely. He's rolling three dice at 50% odds. Got it. Got 
Got so exactly two one. And takes two. Yeah, and now Corvus is going to score two VPs next turn and have no threat to him. Yep. So it's it's pretty much game. I mean, it it is. It was game yeah. a while ago. I know, I know, but you always hope, you always pray, you think <laughs> maybe the dice will do something cool. Even if he kills uh, Corvus there, I, I, it's not going to make a difference. So Thanos has to go now. What's happening here? It's like he's trying to get, he's measuring to maybe try to get within a med pack. That's pointless. He's going to go first next turn anyway. Yeah. No, I mean, he just goes and moves. I mean, you just move Drax and Ronan out of the way and, and sit on the point. It's really possible he can move Ronan so far back that even if Ronan, yeah, he, I think he's going for it too. Yeah. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to move you, Ronan, so far that you don't yeah. matter. He'll just do have to double move. Very, very good play here. Can't say enough about Morgan's decision making. Yeah, he's played a pretty phenomenal game. Um, I I'm going to ask him about the mothership if he feels like he did that a turn too early, but he's played phenomenal. Yeah, I'd like to know why he didn't shoot with Proxima and then just get an extra attack in. You know. I think he was, it was more just a worry of staying out of two of group, but like we kind of talked about, he would have been in the same spot. I always forget the how this works. So mind is this advance. So he can't, oh yeah. So advance is easy because you just, oh he, yeah, he's got this big time. Cause you can even bend the tool with an advance. Correct. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yep. wicked got it. And then he'll warp him too. And he's like literally like board edge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. And notice how Morgan always uses the edge of that template to get that last little distance. You know, and even though this game's kind of over, it's fun to watch a good player like just make these little decisions because he, he's not getting lazy. He's still thinking everything through to his oh, yeah. fullest. Yeah, he's still saying, I don't, I, you know, I could lose this game. He's saying to you, I'm putting you in a prison. I'm not letting you out. Again, I, I go back to, I mean, I think that Thanos being able to double move people is really the key to the list. Yeah. Because he really mitigates, it really turns that when you have five characters versus three, it really turns it into a three versus three character game. Because you're spending so many activations just moving back in position. Brutal. It really so is really, brutal. And then moves you, back you, to you need to be like a long mover to even be relevant with Thanos. Yep. And it, it, it might just need to be long move charge. Your boy Zemo. Yeah, basically just Zemo. I got really excited that Beast would have a charge, but they took it back. <laughs> it would have been great he had a range 3 attack with the charge oh sign me up yeah uh, so he med packed with Thanos med packed what? himself I think he just played all you've got no he, he, he did med pack he pulled the wrong card he just deleted the wrong card then yeah he did he deleted the wrong card he said med pack and played it yeah he just said that <laughs> <laughs> poor ronan ronan has done absolutely nothing this whole game the one time he actually he did had a chance he whiffed the the portal yeah. i mean done it, nothing it's... It's very Ronan-esque, and granted, this is not usually what I mean, but I find Ronan just always lets me down because you're like, okay, if I get the push, I'm going to do really, I'm going to like win this game. If I get the throw, I'll win the game. And then he whiffs. And I'm just like, okay, why did I bring you again? Yeah, it's, it's tough. Well, I mean, he's just been controlled so bad this game. Well, let's just pretend for a minute Ronan was like Black Panther. He might have done something here. Mm-hmm. 
He right? would have been in better positioning, that's for sure. Yeah, like he could at least like double long to like these side points or something. Think about how much different this game could have been. I would be surprised. So I guess so we'll make it to round five. Morgan's gonna score three more. Um that'll take him to twelve. I mean the game I, I would be surprised if you don't get a concession. Although he might let him go with Corvus and kill whoever. I don't think I was gonna say I don't think Ronan can fit on that ambulance. <laughs> no good dance moves. Oh, the chat. We're just moving on to Ronan being a bad dancer at this point. Yeah, he's he has been he's been outdanced really bad this. Uh, <laughs> This game. That's what I'm saying. Black Panther, he brings that extra flavor. Yeah, man. He's got the moves. Yeah. <laughs> he tried to do the robot, failed the dice roll. <laughs> yeah. So he just... he's playing three to blind obsess somebody. I think it's a little too late, though. <laughs> <laughs> um... I have a blind obsession with not playing blind obsession sooner yeah he need if you don't play it by like turn four funny enough about blind obsession um he probably could have played it and lived i guess i guess um proxima had a shot though and she would have killed him so yeah i mean he's gonna if he plays it on group proxima is just gonna go and kill group <laughs> no no i'm not saying you you blind obsessed rocket like you said yeah. And last turn, you know? Oh, then, for sure. Yeah, seven okay, dice. You look, you look, he did four attacks with Rocket. So you right. had, that's that's eight more dice he would have done. Yeah. He would have killed Corvus. Probably. I mean Corvus lived on one. I bet you one of the one of those dice. That's true. And Corvus would be out of the game. Yep. It wouldn't have mattered, though, because he's still got to score the VPs. But, you know. Would have been a little closer. Score is currently 12 to 5 uh, with only two turns left. It's, I think, statistically impossible at this point. It is. So he can only. Get... Well, he could he theoretically score four, four. And then four again. He no, would win he by can't. one. Because no one can get to this portal, this far, far portal portal over here so basically what you're saying is he should concede because yeah the game is if, physically over if he it's, scored 4-4 four, four with no change in vp he would win by one yeah the game is absolutely over zero Mont Funny, though, too, Thanos is kind of known for adding dice to attacks, and we haven't seen any of that. No, he didn't even do one death decree. Uh, What's so, going on? Is this Corvus finishing the job? Yeah, they're, they're, uh, no, this is Proxima doing energy attack onto Groot. He's rolling zero defense. Oh, so the blind obsessed person is Groot? Yeah, he, he uh, used Blind Obsession on Groot and Corvus. Okay, so six so, dice defense is cute. Yeah, but... Uh, it probably won't matter. Three... No, he's going to be alive, but Corvus goes and just kills him. Yeah. He has one health left. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is the moment. Groot blocks a 10 power Corvus. Let's see. All you've got. Oh, look at that. He says, I don't care. This is the game this, anyway, right? This is, this is, yeah, but why would you do this? Because if, if, if somehow he doesn't kill Rocket. Oh, wait, can he not husband and wife? He How can't. does that work? At the end of his characterization, 
Oh, he missed. He completely missed. Uh, okay, he gets him there. But but what I'm saying is, if Corvus somehow completely whiffs, so if somehow Corvus whiffs here, there is a chance for Coffee on straight KOing his team. Oh no, because you'd still have to chase down Thanos. Thanos could just run to the corner. Yeah, but he's got two attack. I mean, it would be his turn, and he's got two guys right there. Well, we just got a VP, which automatically makes the game like unwinnable. Unless you KO his team. Sure. I'm just saying he brought in a. I mean, a, ten, a path ten of power Corvus is going to kill Rocket and then I just know. run away. Hey, and I, he has med pack. Trying to give him a little. Uh, <laughs> I know no, what you're uh, doing it. And and I think I think you're right. There's a tiny, 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 tiny chance. There's a zero point one percent. But like he's dead. Rocket just died. So this should be a concession right here. That's another VP, which makes it now in in actually impossible because if he got eight points, it's still not a, enough. No, he has to KO his team. Oh, Come so on. Morgan's going closer to them. That's Why, a so he's, yeah, he I would did. just be running away right now. I mean, I and know Thanos is not going to die, but I mean, Ronan is within two. He can probably he gets to double attack him here. I so mean, this is, this is interesting. He he's he's giving him a, a route to victory, even though there's like almost no chance. Gets it, no skull. The skull would have been huge too, right? Moves yeah. him towards. And then Ronan just like or Drax just like throws a a barrier or something at him. Yeah. Cause there's zero chance if he moves Corvus away, there's zero chance he could lose the game. Are they talking but, about med pack? Where did the med pack go? Med pack's gone, but they he can see. Oh, it. he can so see. So it's it. over. Okay. Yeah. So we can probably come in. But uh, you go first for the interview. I'll do your thing. Uh, yeah, I did not want to play uh, 15 against you. Definitely didn't want to play this setup. That's what uh, it's not my strongest. <laughs> no, I've lost you on audio again. Oh, sorry. All right. All You're right. On. That was a, right. that was a really tight game. Good job, guys. That was fun to watch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I, like, chat was really excited. We were all chanting Death Zone. We had, like, five models. Uh, um, yeah. We we saw a lot of really intricate movement early game. But I know that uh, Sooner and Sploosh have a lot of questions, so I'm going to let them uh, take the lead on this one. Sure. Uh, lost audio. Go just first, Sploosh? Yeah, Sooner, you want to go for the uh, why is Drax in the close thing question first, I guess? and uh, uh sure yeah uh can morgan here he's been no, he's audio audio. A bit. rejoin okay okay uh well do we have any questions for guardians um do you, uh, did you so consider... my, 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 yeah my yeah. only question is when you field dressing uh star lord, star -Lord. Did, yeah. did you think about just double moving him to the, the that very back portal that he owns to just yeah. try to p position uh, for later on rejoin. Are you talking? Are you talking double moving back here or double? Uh, moving? I'm talking about double moving towards the this one. Oh, far side. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. No, I really thought. Um, I can't remember who I was trying to. Did I? I don't remember if You're I. You're trying to daze. Uh, yeah, you you did with Rocket. I mean. Yeah, I think I had to use everything I got to to daze him. I wanted to daze him with Star Lord and then Jet Rocket across well jock rocket couldn't get over there potentially but move, maybe move rocket somewhere or maybe have rocket have other options yeah um I, but star lord totally whiffed on on his yeah, action he did mm -hmm. um yeah and i was even thinking well i could even if i could generate enough energy with star lord maybe even potentially that might be an all you got opportunity with him but he just he just did nothing so 
I think yeah. Proxima was already kitten not days, so Yeah, Drax took care of her one one stack. That was the about the only thing offensively I did that game. Jeez. Yeah. Well so there was two things. One is if you had um field dressing Starlord to just random away double move. Uh, that would have set up you to not die from the blood right. despair. Yeah, but, blood uh, despair. How mad were you when you didn't move Rocket first and then he blocked you? Oh, I was. I didn't see that coming at all. Yeah, I didn't see. That was my plan. I was thinking, okay, I'm going to daze him and come up. I should have moved Rocket first and take try to be on that point. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't. I thought I might need a second shot with Rocket based on how my dice were going. So that's why I didn't want to move first because. I just could not get him, get him dazed or get him off the board either time. Um, overall, can you go over like your general strategy? Do you feel like you were trying to like go for VPs or kind of like no. kill and defend? Or I was just trying to not let the VP lead get away from me and try to take Corvus off the map and then try to catch back up. Um, I, completely honest, didn't want to play herbs and um, I didn't have much of a game plan for this setup. Um, I thought he might pull some jankiness where he might try to run the herb back over here and just fight on his point. Um, so I was trying to kind of take over the middle um, to try to like intercept that. And then when you kind of got in behind me, then I just had to pretty much focus down on the focus down on Corvus and we just couldn't do any damage to him and get him was off it, the table fast enough. Did, did you find yourself a little like a little like there was a moment where you used a power on Gr Groot when then that you weren't able to do your duo the next turn. Right. Yeah, uh, I uh, I used that to field dress, I believe. Well, that no, was... I think it was turn one, you used Groot's power, then turn two, you had one power on Groot when you would have had two, and then you had two power on Star Lord where yeah. Star Lord could have done the objective. And then yeah. you, you seemed to take a shot on uh, Thanos instead, which ended right. up not hitting. Sure. I just wanted to get kind of Star Lord out in the middle a little bit more. Um, I figured I'd keep Rocket and Groot back here. I didn't anticipate him kind of coming into them from that wing on the side. Okay. Uh -oh. Yeah, I think there was, I, I don't know if it was turn two or three either, but I think there was a play where we kind of hoped you would run Rocket over to the red truck. Uh, right. We figured you'd, uh, I think he, Rocket was at the time like here, and we figured right. he might be able to do like a two and then a one across. And then split the board a little was that ever a consideration to go anywhere over here with anyone or? um eventually i wanted to yes i wanted to try to get something on corvus first before i did and i just couldn't um i couldn't do it i just couldn't do any damage to him and couldn't get him off the off the table fast enough um and like i think one time i swung with Groot trying to generate a power to do that and even went into proxima thinking i had a better chance to do one damage and Groot whiffed on that attack to get the deadly duo off there um, and I didn't play the cover right. Uh, I didn't realize that he had cover a couple times with uh, Corvus on the truck. Mm. Yeah, uh, that, was that that bit me. Yeah, yeah. you give Corvus block uh, cover, and he's like almost yeah, he's almost yeah. yeah. Chat, so I, I, have really... a, I have something to kick in. Chat is asking, why did you not throw the uh, the truck size three that I'm pinging with Drax when, when he was Drax right next came to down? It? Yeah, that. I did think I did think about that before I went, and then I think I lit up the board with that dice, and then completely forgot about it because okay. I should have thrown the truck into Corvus, and that would have been, yeah, that would have been big. I just didn't even think about that. I, I initially thought about that when I moved him up there, and then I got blinded by the dice and forgot about okay. it. Okay, yeah, that's that's yeah. fair. It was it was really tough too because I thought you were saving the power for field dressing, which I thought was like kind of a next level play. And then you ended up having to get pulled out of there. Yeah. And it, yeah. it got real scary there for a minute. Yeah. That, uh, yeah, that throw would have been really good in retrospect. I did not even, I was, I was thinking about probably throwing that at Proxima. And then when I lit her up, I just, it's completely forgot about that. Yeah. That would have been. Hmm. That would have been right. good. Morgan, been are you back one. in chat here? Because that truck uh, was a pain in Morgan? my ass the whole game. <laughs> I think Morgan. Check Morgan. Yeah. Mike, check. Hello. He's I'm making noises. 
But I'm gonna, me and Splish talked about it, but I'm going to say Morgan and, and you and Caden. So. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, he didn't DC in game any at all, but but uh, no, I didn't. I I anticipated him maybe picking up the herb and then there being a big fight in the middle and. And then after he kind of committed south, I was I was out of position a little bit. Ronan was basically pushed off the map and worthless. Yeah, poor Ronan did absolutely nothing. Yeah, that that hurt me. Uh, uh, I think Mothership doesn't work if he takes the orb. Yeah, or, I thought or, he uh, might Mothership Proxima over there, grab it, and then long move with her. Um, is what I kind of anticipated, but yeah, yeah, no, I think he was uh, waiting for you to commit to something and then was going to Mothership. In whatever he Ends felt me. was the weak spot or the vulnerable point, and, and that's exactly how he played it. Well, let's right. ask him, uh, Morgan. Are you back with us? Oh no, he's no, coming he's, in, he's coming out. In. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how, uh, one last thing. So, um, it was kind of a long shot, but why not throw the ambulance at the end into Thanos and then just try to try go to for kill him? him. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was trying to get Thanos just away. I didn't think he could push Ronan. In retrospect, too, I probably should have activated Ronan next. Try to flip this at least to give some sort of chance. Um, and then maybe, I don't know if Ronan could have got there in one move or not, but, um, at least try to flip that over, um, and, and got Ronan up a little bit before he pushed me off the, off the board. Um, I was just kind of thinking, you know, if I can, all you got with rocket and get Corvus off the board, then I have a, a still a tiny chance left, but trying to take him f from zero to, f uh, you know, all, all of his health down in one in four shots. I didn't roll the dice well decently until the fourth and final one. All right, if I take you, Corvus, uh, are you back here? Yeah, I, sorry, I had to muck around and shut my shut my Discord down and, and back. Okay. Yeah. I I have one last question for Coffee before sure. we let him go. Um, I'm sure there's people listening or watching that will love your list and want to try it themselves. Is there anything you maybe would have changed? Like assuming the exact same threat value, same everything, was well, there maybe like a difference of your list you might try here? This is my first time playing against Black Order, and this is my second time playing on on herbs. So, um, ugh. I thought about putting in Punisher and um, Nebula instead of Rocket and Groot, and that would have also freed me up another Tactics card. Um, but I, I don't know if that's any better or worse here. Um, Nebula's movement might have helped because I felt like I was kind of. I was he he did a good job of spacing me out. I had to move a lot before I could attack. Um and yeah, it's just I don't know. I don't know if that would have been better or worse, but I maybe I could have blown up some of this train that was in my way too. Well, before right. we go and uh interview Morgan, I do want to say congratulations on getting to the top 8 with Guardians. Uh oh, I don't thanks. think I don't think a lot of people expected that. So, no. you know, you did you did extremely well. Like I I'm very proud. I think a lot of people are impressed. And uh, congratulations, very well played. All right, we're uh, we gonna. Is Morgan? Yes, there? Why don't you head up, Morgan, if he's responding? Oh no, oh, no. Morgan is having technical <laughs> difficulties. <laughs> we do need to Morgan. send him some internet. Everyone, send him your energy right now, like Dragon Ball internet Z style. Energy. Do it, Morgan. Earth to Morgan. Yeah, it's like knock. It's like knock, knock. Hello, Morgan. No, he's he's gone again. We will get him on this interview, but that was that was an incredibly interesting game for those who are. Yeah, it was a fun right. game. It was a fun game to watch. I mean, it was obviously the the points didn't end up being close, but it was it's certainly an entertaining fun game. To it watch. it felt like a root canal for me because it was just he hammers me and then. Thanos just moves. I don't know. <laughs> we were all, we were all cheering in chat when Drax one shot at Proxima. Yeah, like, oh wow! That was like the only dice I feel like I really had was that one hit, and then I think Star Lord rolled three crits on a defensive dice or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that was pretty hot like, too. I feel like I couldn't hit a critical to save my life. Mm. Um, Rocket has been bad for me the last three games. He just hasn't been able to roll much. You need to take him on vacation, man. Oh, he yeah yeah. But are you uh, there, Morgan? Yeah, yeah, I just uh, had to reset again, but it looks like it's working this time around. Cool. Uh, I got just a couple quick questions. So one is a real simple question. My question is, is uh, when you did first turn, when you double moved Thanos and then you moved Drax, uh, what was your thinking of just barely moving him instead of just moving him away as far as you could? Oh, yeah. Uh, so my thinking there was to try and block Ronan's ability to get to that portal. 
I saw how Ronan was positioned, and if you position a, a medium base, medium mover right in the middle of the board with two moves, you can get close enough, as we saw with Thanos, to contest a, a flanking portal. So the idea was to put Drax in the space where Ronan had to go, so therefore Ronan couldn't make it. So if I could move Drax out, Thanos claims the point, and then he, he's got no character that can move within range to claim it back. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Also, also on a side note on that move, I thought, well, maybe you're moving him to kind of get him in position to you go after him to maybe where he's in better range for to attack. So I thought, yeah. okay, well, maybe you're coming left. So that's why I kind of was gearing up for that a little bit. And, and you did not. <laughs> my, my, yeah. my second big question was, um, do you feel like you maybe played Mothership a turn or two soon? Uh, yes, I, I was thinking that. Um, look, I because don't know the exact... The, so, so the reason I ask is at that point when you played Mothership, you had complete board control, and he had all five guys in that corner. So it, I feel like it opened up an avenue for coffee because you basically put Corvus and Proxima in his death zone where he had all his damage dealers. <laughs> death zone! I really yeah. thought when you did that too, I really thought I could turn on you and, and at least knock somebody out. Whereas, <laughs> whereas if you just sit on it a turn or two, he's way out of position. Yeah, look, it's a very good question, and I'm not sure what the right answer is, but when I was I was debating to play it, whether that turn or wait, and so my thought process was if I play it that turn that I did, I can do it before he generates additional power with all of his guys for field dressing. Now, I don't know the exact maths on Corvus's chance to get Star-Lord with two strikes, mm -hmm. but I think it's it's pretty reasonable. So that the advantage is if I wait another turn, obviously I'll get Glaive's Edge, which makes it almost a certainty. But for me, it was like he was, I saw him coming down the middle and moving towards all of the portals, which where the points are. So I thought if I could throw the distraction of two of my characters in his back line, that should stop them going towards the points and then just start brawling. Um, and th that was my thought process, try and, try and snipe Star-Lord, get rid of that leadership ability. He's a soft and easy kill and an easy point for Thanos' team. Yeah. Uh, and then distract his guys so they don't rush the, rush the portals and try and get the points back. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what the math was because Star Lord is not, I mean, he's not Shuri or Gwen soft. I mean, plucky attitude is a little bit better, but uh, yeah, I was just curious if you had thought well, maybe waiting a turn. Did I miss it though, or why didn't, were you out of range for uh, Proxima to get a, uh, her little teleport thing off? The spear throw? Because you decided so to just it. move. I lost this audio five. again. I've missed, I've missed all of that. Can you hear me now? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have him reconnect and try again. Oh wait, all right, maybe More again, maybe. Do you hear us? Hey, sorry guys, I missed uh, I missed all of that after I finished talking and soon I started talking. Yeah, Morgan, you you can hear me now, right? Yes, mate. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So um, you when you did the the mothership, you did a move with Proxima, and then you chose to move again with Proxima. Was it possible to to hit the spear throw on um, Star Lord? Great Were question. you out of range? Uh, I, I might have done a misplay there, and she might have been in range. I just eyeballed it and assumed it was out, but you're right, I should have measured it to make sure because that would have been you know, potentially helpful. Yeah, because you landed in the exact same spot I wanted you to go anyway, and I actually thought maybe with the range one, you could have even gone on the other side or whatever, but uh, I just was kind of shocked. I was like, where's the spear throw? And you ended up just moving again to like kind of where you could have been anyway from the spear throw. And yeah, you were yeah. just, you just missed the damage too, and I was like, "Oh my god, the spear throw!" Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know. you're right. It, it might have been in, and I should have measured it. That was probably a, a bit lazy of me. Um, if that was in, I mean, Proxima normally doesn't do anything on her, her attacks, but I might have got the extra one or two, and and would have been much better if it was in. Yep. And that leads yeah. to a question I wanted to ask: uh, How far in advance were you planning on blocking Rocket with that uh, Corvus move, which was really rude? I loved it yeah. so much. Uh, look, ideally, I was actually, um, I wanted to hit the wild uh, attacking oh, yeah. Star Lord, and then I wanted to go and strike Rocket um, and try and daze him. So I didn't hit the wild, so I thought, well, the next best thing is to is to block. So you you weren't planning that from the beginning, because I was, I was uh, sure you were, like, setting that up way in advance. Uh, look, I, when I moved there, it was more about trying to get cover and position uh, mm -hmm. into range one of the, the portal. It was not, you know, a turn or two ahead trying to do a, you know, a death blow from blood despair. 
Um, but once I sort of started seeing the play and once he started going after Corvus, I thought, you beauty. So if I can if I can get the wild, I'll move and attack Rocket. And if I don't get the wild, I'll just move to block Rocket. Okay. And then yeah. uh, Chet has a question for you. Uh, Dave is asking, have you had any experience playing with Corvus without the reality gem? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, I'll uh, answer that for Morgan. No. <laughs> uh, well, I have. I play, I played a lot of uh, Black Order when they first came out before the gems, and he is an average to low tier character without a reality gem. Um, I tried him with Time Stone. That's average. Uh, I think the reality gem is stapled to him, and I can't imagine a scenario where I'd ever take him without it. Well, Chad appreciates your response. <laughs> well, Morgan, I thought you played great, man. The way you uh, controlled his characters, it, it just really, uh, I mean, made it where he just, you know, was having to rely on, on big dice spikes to, to try to kill your characters. It was very well done. Oh, thanks, man. And look, I, I think Coffee played, uh, you know, and you guys said it before, to, to get into the top eight with Guardians and sooner you did as well in, in the top cut with Guardians is a huge effort. Um, and I think... I think you're probably squad going wider. I think I would be more scared of that. So I think Coffee's probably got a harder run doing it with what he did. So really, right. really well done. Yeah, we, uh, we talked a lot about when we were in the, uh, in the commentary of if I was playing you, I would have done as many characters on the board and I would have just ran to the portal. I wouldn't even attack <laughs> you. I would just run to the portals. I thought about that. I thought about that. Yeah. I mean, that was rough. I was, I was, uh, I mean, obviously it was huge that I won priority. Um, yeah. And then I wanted to get alien ships because I wanted to run five wide at 20. And it didn't matter what oh. scenario we were doing then, but I discarded it. So I thought, well, the next best is probably herbs. And I suspected he was going to take spider portals. Yeah. Yeah. I was afraid of herbs. I did not want to play that. And like, I thought maybe with initially I wanted to get Ronan going and try to get some staggers off, or then I switched my plan to maybe I can push Thanos away. Well, that just ended up with Thanos pushing Ronan farther than Thanos was getting pushed by Ronan, and it really backfired on me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so I mean, I and look, everyone plays differently, but I don't really use Thanos as an attacking piece. In fact, I don't even think Thanos, I don't think he attacked that he game, he did attack this game. Nope. Yeah, so I think that's where he excels. So you've got the beaters in the squad and then you've got this huge control piece that's really resilient and it's, he's really, you know, you can shift him around, but it's really hard to remove him. So I really like the balance of Black Order of, you know, you've got your beaters to go and do damage and, and get people distracted. And then you've got this excellent point scoring control piece in Thanos. And for me, that was the heart, or it has been and still is the hardest piece to learn is Thanos. How do I, when do I pull the trigger on attacks? And then when do I just sit back and just move people around? Well, and, and uh, Morgan, I, I mean, I said this probably four or five times, Sploosh can say in the stream, uh, I think the key to your list is the two moves from Thanos. I think without those, your list is not even remotely as good as it is. I oh, just, sorry, I missed that. You broke up there. Oh, I, I said that in the comments uh, multiple times I mentioned, I think the key to your list is Thanos being able to move two characters a turn. Um, do would you agree with that? Yeah, I think that's a good observation, and and I probably do. Um, it's probably why I'm I don't like sixteen points because it gives me an uncomfortable choice to make. Um, yeah. Yep. So having Thanos with the mind gem is is very strong control, and he's potentially, as you said, moving two plus characters a turn. Because mm -hmm. it just lets you it, it it takes you from so in this game it was five versus three, but in reality it was really like three on three. Right. Because with Thanos, you were just able to move Ronan and Jax and control them so well, you really almost even amount of brawling numbers. Yeah, I lost all yeah. uh, my, I don't know what's going on with my audio, but all of that broke up and I couldn't hear any of it. He, he, uh, he was just saying you took uh, Ronan out and basically Drax out as well. So I'm sure Shuggy is just loving somebody who doesn't attack. Uh, <laughs> are you still there, Morgan? Morgan Morgan dropped out. Oh, Morgan's, Morgan's back. <laughs> Morgan, you hear me? Yeah, I've just tried to rejoin again. Sorry, I missed I missed all of Stu's <laughs> comments. All, all, all I said real quick, Morgan, is that uh, basically the reason I think – can you hear me? Yes, mate. Yep. Uh, the reason I think it's it's the key to the list is because instead of five versus four, the way you can control with Thanos, it's really almost like a three-on-three three or three versus – Yeah, look, I, I, think, I think you've nailed it. Um, Blackwater really appear to like those – 
small uh, one or two characters versus one or two character fights, and Thanos enables that, and he effectively you know staggers two other characters to move them out of position, and then force them to waste their actions on moving to mitigate then the incoming attacks, and then that reduces the incoming damage generally. So yeah, yeah. I, I think Thanos is the key. Yeah, it's brilliant to watch. I like watching it. So I've I've got one last question for the two players before we start to wrap this up because uh, it has been a long stream and I know it's late for some people. But um, when Coffee picked up the herb, it seemed like there was a shift in stratagems because Coffee needs to move Drax across the board and Morgan decides to use Thanos to deny him. And then right. for the rest of the game, uh, Drax is a, a single move very neutered character who can't uh -huh. drop the herb did you both of you did you guys have to start shifting your perspectives on the game state once uh it became realistically three on four and then once you've moved drax out of position he was just he was never going to score that herb no i thought i might be able to take ronan and get thanos away and obviously i couldn't get him far enough away with the double move and then maybe drax can get across but the dump truck doesn't help my case over here um yeah that's so. two turns and then thanos would just keep moving you you'd never yeah. get there i yeah. think it was a good move though because at that point you were you were in a tough spot uh, right i like, needed uh, i needed the yeah. herb to get back or i needed I to go all in on corvus and i probably chose wrong in retrospect i wish i'd thrown that damn truck at corvus now that i i did not even see that that would have made a big uh or you just double move drax back to to where corvus is for the you know the next couple rounds just right. i'd like that. to i'd like to sneak a question in for morgan morgan uh you didn't have much time to prepare for the ban list um would you have played drop off if you could and how did you like shift in with the mothership has like mothership always been in your back pocket would you have played it here anyway what yeah, do you think about question. that so the the ban list um was one spanner in the works and then them throwing in the new characters at the 11th hour um, without you know, the ability to really test them was two spanners. So first question, would I play drop off 100%? Um, drop off and Corvus and Proxima is obnoxious and I'm glad they've banned it, even though it's very strong for Black Order. Um, so the, the mothership is the, the backup for it. And the reason why I like it is that I think they excel in their affiliation in Black Order, which is great. Um, Really, what I think I've, I've probably now I've had a little bit more time to think about it. What I would change in my list would be to bring in hired muscle um, if I'm running the Fisk scenario in the eight. Uh, and that's just a, a, a fallout of not having the time to be able to, to test uh, with all the, the incoming changes just prior to the, the finals. Um, but yeah, Mothership's a great card and it now acts as a soft version of the drop off, which I think makes it far more balanced and fair. And, and you get some counterplay as well. So I have a, I guess, one last question as well to sneak in well, for... So okay, give me one second. So it. I felt like you had um, this player, uh, you had Guardians or whoever you're playing against. I feel like you, you created like this wet, a net where like if he had gone left, you could have like mothership Proxima over to Corvus. And right. if he goes for Proxima, you could mothership Corvus to Proxima. I almost think in this game, mothership was better than drop off. I mean, maybe uh, look, you, you miss like an attack, but you controlled the game like from turn one. Yeah, I mean, I, if I had them both on D scenarios, I'd take them both. Um, but yes, yeah, so, so I think um, contrary to, I suppose, some popular belief, I think Black Order excel on the D scenarios because the, the mobility to, to mothership someone across to a weak point and really bully a character or two is exceptional. So I'm just sort of sitting there waiting to see an opportunity and my opponent will eventually give me an opportunity and then that's when I try and pull the pre trigger on on uh, Mothership. And I think that goes back into, I missed it in your earlier question, but I did uh, Mothership when I did on Star-Lord because he was out of Ronan's accuser range or judgment range, which I didn't want to you know, deny the power gain from people attacking Corvus. So it was like, well, it's not ideal, but if I don't do it now, he's, he's probably going to move Star-Lord up and Ronan's going to judge everyone and that's that's bad. So uh, my my legitimately last question: Did you guys uh, ever intend on scoring the herb until it was like that, desperation? I had hour? the same question, Morgan. Were you ever had any intention of picking up the herb? Never. Ah, okay. Okay. Because like I looked at your list and I barely planned for herbs, but I'm like maybe you could advance R and D turn one, come over here, mothership her, and she could get a pretty long movement um, on turn one with the herb. And I was like, mm, but 
that's kind of what I was maybe defending against, trying to get everybody in the middle in case you were going to try to take her over there and grab it. But that yeah, that's that's fair. So the, I mean, the the big point there is is probably familiarity in that you can't mothership someone with an extract. So you know the herb, in, in, at least in my opinion at the moment, if you have two good players uh, with the right pieces, you're never scoring the herb. So it's it's just you know I was actually really happy when you picked it up with Drax because it means you couldn't double move and go after spider move. portals. Yeah, yeah. I just thought you might mothership over there and then pick it up. Was what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. No. Look. I mean, it takes a character. Out of, it, what's probably turn three, maybe by the time you get there, and then you got Ronan yeah. pushing and Drax throwing. It's just I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that was an excellent game. Once again, congratulations to Morgan for moving into the top four. Congratulations to Coffee for bringing Guardians <sighs> into the top eight. Uh, I know you're probably both thankful that that game is over, so you can go get some rest. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we are going to wrap this show up. So thank you, everyone, for joining us. Check out all of our stuff on social media. We've got a podcast, blogs, articles, streams, everything. Uh, Morgan, you're also part of a podcast too, right? Strike Better? Yeah, Strike Better. So, you know, it's uh, thank you for the shout-out too, Sugi. Um, it's just more focused on the competitive um, side of it and a bit of a deep dives and, and tactics and strategies and general approaches to the game. So if people are looking for some... More content on uh, Marvel Crisis Protocol. Please come and have a listen. Strike better. Yep. All right. So we are getting out of here. We will see everyone during our next stream. We hope everyone has a great night. And thanks for watching. Speak.